absolutely insane, quite candidly. Uh, there are so many people here. There's so much hype in the chat. Hype, hype, hype. hype, hype. I'm here with Rogbot, the one and only, down there in the little box. Hi, everyone. He can That's push a button do. and go into a big box. Look at me. Ooh. Boom. And also next to me is my lovely fiance, Amelia Rose Blair. Hello, everyone. Who you will know as the Tracys, or one Tracy, depending on how you play this game, uh, in Detroit Become Human. And she and I started our playthrough of Detroit on last Sunday. And we had just reached 3,000 followers on Twitch. And I said to Rog, Rog, this is growing so fast. The Connor army is becoming so great that we might have 10,000 people subscribe, or not subscribe, following, uh, by the time we stream next Sunday. And there are, as of last check, 20, let's double check it so we have the official numbers here, because it's live. Calculating. Calculating. We are just about to cross over into 28,000 followers on Twitch, which is absolutely insane. So thank you so much to everybody that is following along. Thank you to everybody that's subscribed. Thank you to everybody that's watched the videos on demand. We have a bunch of cool content on the channel that you can watch uh, after this if you want to check out the previous streams, previous streams of Heavy Rain, uh, things from the Detroit Become Human uh, premiere event called Hashtag Detroit 2038. We have an interactive theater piece there where I played Connor in real life, and they let me keep the suit, which was really awesome. Yes. We got these awesome LEDs that we're wearing here today, and uh, we also did a city tour of Detroit. So if you'd like to check out any of those videos or the uh, demo party that we had, uh, we had a bunch of my friends that are voice actors play through the demo party. Rog played Detroit Become Human's demo. Yeah, I uh, managed to keep people alive. We appreciate mostly. it. Yeah. yeah. Overall, pretty good. Um, but it was really awesome, and we'll probably do another party event like that soon because oh, yeah. uh, a lot of our friends are voiceover actors, video game actors, and uh, Twitch is, quite honestly, so much fun that I haven't really been doing anything else. So uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. I see there's people just pouring into this chat room right now. We have followers constantly. Uh, thank you to everyone who's subscribing. Uh, and to the Emperor, how you doing? Uh, remember you from a long time ago. I'm going to do my best to call out to you guys as you subscribe, but I literally can only speak so fast, and this is about the maximum uh, before I start to go nuts. Um, this is really, really cool. Um, we are so excited to get into Detroit. This is a blind-ish playthrough, meaning that uh, pretty much everything we're going to play today I have not even really seen, but being around mm -hmm. Uh, the studios and when they've been premiering this game for media and uh, so on, they've been doing previews. So I have seen some of it, but uh, of this gigantic script, I have not seen or read or have any idea of what's coming for about two thirds of this story. So I read about a thousand pages of script, maybe a little more. And I think the total game is uh, three or four times that. So um, Amelia and I are gonna see what happens. This is a continued playthrough from what we played on last Sunday. We're gonna play every Sunday, which is uh, today, the 10th, the 17th, and the 23rd, which I think will be enough time to get through one playthrough of Detroit Become Human before Amelia and I go to get married. And we'll take a short hiatus, and then uh, after we get married, we'll come back and probably play a little more games. Yeah. Uh, maybe Detroit Become Human in some extreme cases. I've been thinking about doing... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> we will do another... I don't know. This is what it's happens when you get guys. married to an actor. Uh, the... Um, we will do some other playthroughs of Detroit where I will not be as... Uh, maybe... Um, it won't be so much of an organic playthrough, but I'll try to make certain things happen, uh, if that makes sense, to show you guys the extremities of this, because there are definitely some significant bends to the story as it goes. Um, I have a few announcements that I'd like to make, if you guys will bear with me before we get into the game, because we have some prizes. We crossed over to 28,000, by the way. Thank you guys for following and for subscribing. If you have an Amazon account, you can get a free subscription to the channel uh, using the link to the Twitch Prime, which will... Uh, save you from this absolutely you guys are so fast in the twitch chat in the stream you guys are so fast oh my god they look so cute uh congratulations so cute i'm dead someone says uh oh uh woot uh <laughs> lol amelia this is amazing um leds yeah sometimes because the lights are so bright in here these leds are not going to glow as much as they might on uh on other cameras but we're going to wear them anyway because they feel good so before we begin, um, I have a couple of real quick announcements and then we'll get into the gameplay because how many people are in here with us right now, Rog? Uh, right now, the current check is 8,001. 8,001. And a special thank you to that one. 
What, you, what was it? And you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago, what? We started heavy streaming Heavy Rain for maybe 100? Not two weeks. We, I mean, two, two, two weeks months. ago, we finished playing Heavy ago. Rain. So we started in April. This this Twitch account is very, very young. Uh, so shout out to Twitch. Thank you for hosting us. Um, if there's anybody uh, from the Twitch staff here, we're grateful to have you, as well as our moderators. Um to, you know, not a bot, to Rog, uh, who's dude288 in the chat, to, I'm not going to list everybody because I'll, I'll forget somebody, but thank you everybody that's uh, helping us um, on the moderation tip. Um, we'd prefer if, uh, you know, to keep everyone engaged in the chat. If you want, if you're in Chrome, you can right click in the chat and hit translate, and it will translate the chat to your language. Or if uh, folks would like, use English, and uh, it'll be easier for me to participate with you. But uh, feel free, any language is welcome. We have people tuning in from all around the world. We got people in Australia. Where's everybody else from? Russia, Israel, Mexico, France. Uh, greetings from. I need some super glue. Am I, is it falling off? I don't know, guys. We'll, we'll do the best with it. But if it falls off slowly, it'll it'll show you that I'm in fact Human. not an Android. Um, Germany, Chicago, Hungary, being a robot's Italy, from the heart, UK, not Japan, from Finland. Germany. Oh my gosh, Arizona, Taiwan, Thailand, China, Poland, Nebraska, Italy, Ukraine. Netherlands. Wow. Philippines, Ireland, Italy. New York. New York. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Where are the Chicago Illinois. people at? Yeah, Rogbot's from Illinois. Chicago. Yeah, no. Um, I'm all so about them. We can France. De- France. Bonjour. California. Very cool. Yeah, we are streaming from Los Angeles, California. Um, and we are very, 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 very excited about this. <laughs> um, so, quickly. This episode will rerun uh, for audiences that are on the other side of the globe. So if you're watching right now, I got a lot of tweets, people saying I would love to be there, but that's like four o'clock in the morning for my time. I totally understand uh, because I was up at uh, four in the morning streaming for uh, Tokyo time. Um, But on Saturdays, we are going to stream each each episode, each stream of this playthrough, we are going to re-air with a live chat and with live prizes on the Saturday that follows, which is the day before the next stream. So this, I believe, will be streaming on the 9th uh, again. So if you want to spread the word and welcome people in. Throw that up real quick over your yeah, other ones. So yeah, real quick. Uh, so we're going to re-air this. And uh, that will involve people. This is going to be 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. in Tokyo time, which is uh, 9 p.m. and uh, 11 p.m. No, 9 p.m. and midnight in Sydney. And, of course, you can calculate from there. And uh, we will be leaving some places. It's going to be a little weird, but we're dealing with artificial intelligence and the Internet, and there are so many people that we want to involve. Um, We're going to do a couple of uh, cheer, drum roll in the chat for prizes that are later going to be awarded during the rerun so that the people who are watching then with the live chat along, uh, I will jump in and out, but that way people can actually uh, win in other time zones because it was, uh, yeah, well, it wasn't fair that uh, people were watching the rerun, but then like trying to win a prize that they literally couldn't win. So we're going to leave a couple of the prizes today for our uh, future audiences. Um, Is this fading out, man? Oh, look. So this is a cool LED. Oh, you don't have to. Oh, my love. Well, okay, here we go. So while Amelia does this, uh, I'm going to show you some prizes that we have. This is a really cool one. This Ooh. is this is from the uh, Detroit Become Human premiere, uh, which was in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit hashtag uh, Detroit 2038, and this is signed by David Cage. Uh, Guillaume, the producer of this game, Adam Williams, the writer, Greg, the associate game director, and Amelia and myself will sign it to send it to you. We gave a couple of these away on other streams, so if you're waiting for yours to arrive, don't think that I didn't send it and I'm going to give it to someone else now. Uh, We have a couple of these. Uh, This we're going to give away at the intermission, which we'll do in about an hour and a half in the middle of the stream. And uh, stay tuned for that. And then here are some other things that I'm really super stoked about. we had some folks donate to this stream, which is incredibly generous, and we appreciate it. Um, but we want to give the donations to the stream. So uh, here on this Twitch, anytime anybody donates, we're going to pool all of this money together to either ship out the prizes to pan- uh, fans or pick up new prizes, which we did in a video you can watch on the channel. We went to a uh, store called Game Realms in Burbank, which if you want to support uh, a independent uh, gaming store. It's very cool. They have a lot of um, interesting, uh, you know, old retro titles. I mean, they've got stuff for the original Game Boy and uh, NES and, of course, uh, pretty much every platform that you could want to play a game for. And uh, we just kind of 
sent him a message and said, hey, can we show up uh, and stream on Twitch? And they were Shout out cool to Maggie. About it. Shout out to Maggie if Shout you're watching. Maggie. Uh, Maggie hooked us up. Well, I mean, we... We, we hooked Maggie up with the yeah. sales, but Maggie <laughs> Maggie hooked us up with a place to buy them in real life because I myself am playing off a digital download, but there's just something about having a physical copy of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we picked up three copies of this so far. This is Detroit Become Human in uh, physical form, so if you don't own a copy or you'd like one, uh, we will send it to you, but we signed it. And this is a fun fact that some people, I know there were some posts when the uh, cover art was first uh, revealed the Japanese cover has all three of the protagonists and people were saying we want to have all three of the protagonists on the cover uh, and a fun fact about the Detroit Become Human uh, physical copy is that you can open it pull out this reversible cover and put it back in and they're not all signed but this one is signed so this one is signed by Amelia and myself and we have three copies of the game that are signed and we're gonna give these out one each stream uh, during the uh, following uh, this stream, next stream, and the following stream. But then we have to have something really special for the final uh, playthrough, which will be on June 23rd, also a Sunday, same time, whatever time you tuned in today. But I have some friends over at PlayStation Japan. Uh, wow. Deus, thank you very much. Uh, he sent me a kind message. I'm going to do a little bit of a, an unboxing here of this uh, FedEx box that I received. Um, because he said, I think I have something you might like. And uh, I very much would like this because... I don't know what's in this, actually. Brian there's something in it for me, and there's something in it for you guys. So, um, can you take the big box, Amelia? Okay, so this is something very special. It's going to be a prize on the stream. Uh, can you guys see? This is a bona fide FedEx bag. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some of you, uh, I see somebody in the chat might already recognize this. It's not the Connor jacket. If I find out about merch, guys, I will tell you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, I've inquired with Sony about the LEDs, or with PlayStation about the LEDs, uh, and ROG. We're going to make sure ROG gets whatever he wants. Uh, but he can't have this, because this is for you. Um, here we go. What do we got? Oh. Oh, it's something nice. It's the premium edition Japanese... Detroit Become Human, and this is a beautiful, beautiful package. Uh, this is like, I feel like it came from 2038. Um, can I open this? There are two of them uh, in here. Here, Amelia, you hold this one up. Yeah, no one wants you to sign Give the bag little, around it. <laughs> yeah, I can sign the cellophane for you. Um, <laughs> but there are two of them. So we're going to uh, keep one of these, which is going to ultimately get signed and go back to uh, Japan, um, well, by way of... Uh, meeting up in, uh, at E3, but this one, I want to show you guys what this is like, because if you'll permit me, this is probably like the coolest yeah. packaging of anything. Uh, it, looks, it looks like an Apple product. It does. It definitely does. Though we don't deliberately endorse Apple just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, if you're listening, we'll, we'll hang out with you. But uh, yeah, available. this is beautiful. This is like, so we're going to, um, it's of course got the, all of the necessary to sell it things, but look at this, look at this package. It's so cool. That's so sleek. It's super sleek. It's got Detroit written here. I don't know if you can see it because it's so bright. Um, but it's a cool case. Uh, and it's got, it's basically got, it's got a little hello. This will introduce you. Um, this has got a digital download code for extras. Um, and then this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, here we go. This is the Japanese cover of the game which Ooh. I'm very fond of. Um, I think it's really cool. We'll leave this uh, saran wrap, uh, cling wrap, however you like, so that you have it fresh to open yourself when you win uh, on our final stream. But there's that. And then it also comes with this really, really cool um, premium edition art book, which is filled. Oh, oh I just happened to open to that page. <laughs> uh, but in any case, it's filled with all these really cool behind the scenes. Uh, it's got pieces of the script. Um, Autofocus is loving that. Um, but anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful gift. Thank you very much to uh, PlayStation in Japan for sending this Thank to us. Thank you, PlayStation Japan. Um, we are going to keep this here with us on stream. Uh, I'm going to meet up with Nima, I hope, pretty soon, who is the composer of Connor's uh, soundtrack. Uh, we're going to meet up with him soon and see if he can sign it. Amelia will sign it, myself. Um, if we can get Clancy Brown on oh. this. Ooh, what's that? And there's also this. What is that? Which is? Stickers? Are these stickers? Those are stickers. Or decals? Decals. Those are CyberLife decals. 
Um, and so we are going to, uh, we'll see who else we can get to sign this so that over the course of the stream, it gets cooler and cooler and cooler. Uh, and then one lucky person is going to win. And uh, everybody who's in the I chat do. is welcome to uh, participate. Um, if you're following along, you are eligible to win. Subscribers get five times entry into all of the prize giveaways. So if you're super excited about a prize and want to subscribe, knock yourself out. Please do. We're th super thankful for everyone subscribing. And if you want a free subscription, you can use the Twitch Prime, uh, which is, of course linked on the channel um two quick questions uh people i've been getting a lot of questions am i got to start a youtube channel uh the answer is yes uh we'll start a youtube to host all of our video on demands uh there are some people that have already been posting the uh streams on youtube which is great thank you um knock yourself out i only ask that you uh put a link back to the original uh twitch channel in your description so that people can find us and watch the other videos and um the, like i said the reruns everything will play again on saturdays Thank you to Cyborg Angel. Shout out to you. Yes. Amelia and I did a really cool interview, a uh, chill session with her and Benjamin Dibling, on, uh, who's the shooting director at Quantic Dream. Uh, so if you want to watch that, I'm sure that's still stored on her channel, which is slash Cyborg Angel. And uh, she and Ruby True have been really helping me out learn how to do this whole Twitch thing. So um, thank you to those two. And uh, let's give away our first prize, shall we? <laughs> um, so... This is another thing from Japan, sent to me by a Twitter friend named Rusted Blades, who has sent us this. Uh, and we have a couple of copies of this. So we are going to give away one copy now and then one copy in the future to the people that watch it on Saturday. So this is a magazine called Famitsu, which is, am I saying that right? Everyone in the chat, let me know. Uh, this is a beautiful magazine from Japan that did a 20, no, 52 page. Uh, spread on Detroit Become Human, and it itself is basically an art book. Of course, it would be nice if you read uh, Japanese, but if you don't, <laughs> you can look at the pictures like me. Uh, but it's really, really fantastic. A bunch of behind the scenes, how they did everything at Quantic Dream. And this will be signed by myself and Amelia uh, and sent over to you. Um, and let's do a giveaway for this because we tweeted something earlier today, and I said, uh, retweet this for a chance to win. And we are going to pull that up right now. Ooh, and then we'll do another one. Actually, while I pull this up, why don't we do this? is This is the time. If it's Saturday, if you're watching this on Saturday, <laughs> and it's like you know uh, the future, um, you are eligible to win this. Can we get a drum roll in the chat for everybody that's going to win this in the future? In the future. The future. Drum roll. <laughs> Ding, and the winner is. And we'll just hang out here for a second until whoever's moderating in the middle of the night or myself in the middle of the night on Saturday jumps into the chat, picks a winner, and says, oh, my God, you won. And then we say now in, in, the, in present time, but for the future, congratulations. <laughs> and then someone will probably have to edit in the name of whoever won and then, you know, the whole thing. Okay, Brian cool. doesn't just care about fans right now. He cares about fans who aren't even fans yet. If there's one thing I know for a fact, it's that Detroit Become Human has been spreading like wildfire. My social media has been blowing up. I, I'm trying as best I possibly can to reply to you guys. But like a week ago, I mean, we've we've multiplied by 10 times at least so everybody that's following on instagram twitter uh twitch facebook thank you so much for being with us uh, it's absolutely fantastic all right so i'm going to pull up this first one this is it uh you entered to win this earlier today if you retweeted um and i will send you a tweet right now or a message after we select you let's see make sure you got the right one because you guys are on it the connor army is really really good at retweeting stuff um you're very fast got it okay so 622 of you entered to win Jeez. this. Work, We're going to open up, or 650 now, because I think some people just jumped in the last second. Congratulations, you barely made it. Uh, and we are going to go through here. Let's get all of these woken up so that Twitter will show us. And now we are about to draw a winner by random selection. Closing my eyes, drum roll in the chat. And the winner is... Faye Loves Razzilli, which is uh, at R. A Z Z I one zero one one. Congratulations. Uh, you're amazing. 
I love you. I love your one follower also. Uh, I like that you, you're so down. This is also just a shout out to your follower who's just Monica. And uh, maybe everybody else will give you a follow now because I appreciate your support. Oh, man, you're on yeah. it. All of your tweets are about Detroit Become Human. So Thank you deserve you. to win this. So Thank this you. is coming your way. Uh, this magazine, I've signed it and Amelia will sign it. I'm going to send you a uh, DM right now and say, let me know your address for the magazine. With that, I'm gonna copy her name down. Thanks. R A Z Z I one zero one zero one one. Hashtag just Monica. Cool. I like it, guys. Congratulations. Now we need to give something away in the uh, Twitch chat because everybody's here. Yeah. So, Rog, are you ready for this? Yeah. So, Rog has a special Rogbot algorithm whereby if you enter into yes. the chat, and the mods are gonna turn off slow chat so you can all do this, um, the across all chats across all chats. This is my personal favorite besides maybe the uh, copies of the game. Um, but this is a prize to start off the stream. This is also from the Detroit Become Human premiere event. Uh, this is a really cool DualShock uh, map. It's what they set up. It says, of course, how to uh, interact with the game, you know, navigate, interact, move camera, mind palace, switch camera. This is also signed by our director, David Cage, our producer, Guillaume, Adam Williams, lead writer, Greg, our associate game director, myself, and Amelia. And uh, it's really beautiful, and we would love to send it to you. So all you have to do to enter this is type something kind and fundamentally decent into the chat. Every time you type something into the chat, it will enter you, and the subscribers get their names multiplied by five in our algorithm. And we will have uh, 30 seconds for everyone to... Let me run a timer for 30 seconds. Yeah, totally. Um, for... Everybody. Hey, and thank you to Zelda for the donation, who says Russian fandom loves us very much. So this is a shout out specifically to you in Russia. Gukdila. Did I say that close at all? You yeah. Got, uh, right on. Saying good luck, guys. So thank you very much for that. Cool. And I'll give you guys a few more seconds to type into the chat to win this uh, DualShock signed poster. Um, let me think if there's anything else I want to shout out to you guys about. Um, oh, yeah. Emotes. So, I don't know if this is a thing that happens to anybody else, but uh, since you guys all just showed up here and have been subscribing and have been so incredibly supportive of this, uh, and we are right now, but humble Twitch time. of time. All right, so pause the chat, or pause the algorithm, yeah. Rog. Paused, I'm ready. Okay, I will, cool. I will look into um, the camera. And we have one beautiful emote uh, for each tier, and of course, um, our uh, top tier has all three, I believe. Um, but these emotes are... Uh, limited because we are affiliates and as soon as we become partner which I'm pretty positive that at the end of this twitch stream We're about to be partner because of both time and number of streams and so on and so forth um, We will unlock the emote slots which you guys have all been working towards by subscribing and we are eligible for 20 emotes now so I'm going to send up a tweet right now to get your recommendations of uh, what to um, make these emotes about because we have ideas so there's definitely going to be an emote for press triangle circle square and X so that everyone who's watching along in the uh, chat can participate when we make decisions in the playthrough it'll be a lot easier to read all the triangles all the circles popping up than uh, to have um, you have to type in you know be determined or however um, and then also uh, we have some that are definitely going to happen we have a calibration coin emote coming a Connor winking emotion Emote? Emotion? Emote. Yeah, emote. Emoji, emote. Yeah. Um, the uh, sumo. We're going to have one for Hank's dog sumo, uh, which is perhaps going to also have an I like dogs emote, which we're not super, super sure. Um, we have a mission successful, mission failed uh, emote definitely coming at you, but I need some feedback on the last one. We've been having a couple of uh, text chats where everyone's been throwing in their ideas for new emotes. And uh, I'm going to post up a tweet right now. And if you would help me by retweeting this, let's get the word out. This is, I'm tweeting the one that says recommendations of Twitch Detroit Become Human subscriber emotes go. Tweeting that one right now. And that will be how you enter to win at intermission. We will give away this uh, We Have Passion Detroit Become Human premiere poster. And at intermission, I will pick a retweet winner from that. And then we'll give so something excited. else away in the chat. Shall we do our, our winner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rogbot, you want to run the algorithm? Yeah, I am all... Drum roll in the chat for the winner. Good. For, that. for this beautiful signed poster. 
Yeah, uh, the winner is, and I'm about to type it in the chat, at Fish Coal. At Fish Coal. Congratulations, at Fish Coal. Congratulations. We love you more than you know. I especially like your hashtag Save the Fish username. And I think, Rog, this might be a good place for me to acknowledge a rumor that's been going around on uh, Twitch and uh -oh. social media and so on. Am I in trouble, guys? No, you're not in trouble. <laughs> I, I think I might be in trouble. Um, oh, oh so boy. while I've been working on like setting up some things online, I've been popping in and out of the Twitch stream chat, and there are people in here all the time. So if you guys just want to like come hang out on the stream chat, you are super welcome. It's a very positive, very welcoming community. Um, super glad to have you. But while I was chatting with someone, uh, they said something along the lines of, uh, we need to get Brian to wear a fish suit <laughs> on stream. And I said, at probably like 11.30 at night or so, whatever it was, I said, yeah, if we reach 1 million followers on Twitch, I will stream wearing a fish suit. I don't know what that means exactly. I tried to retract it, but they had already screenshotted it, and uh, there was just basically no way to stop this now. So if you see people on my timeline talking about a fish suit, they're not insane. I'm insane. <laughs> and I just want everyone to know I am presently in the process of finding this fish suit. And look, I'm and we're open to options too, Rob. Oh, yeah, of course. It can be. I mean, I've seen people have posted like a full suit that looks like a fish. I've seen. I've seen a onesie kind of a suit. The, I, I like that one. The but onesie I looks good. I really. I don't want Brian to see this suit before before he puts it on. I no, think that's I, that's not necessary. So I will let wear, me know <laughs> where this suit is. I will wear the fish suit sight unseen, <laughs> but it's either going to be a suit with fish on it or a full suit that looks like a fish. Mm -hmm. But if we get to 1 million followers, if this on Twitch specifically. Yeah. If <laughs> if that happens, I will wear a fish suit and I'm going to call out Ninja and I'm going to say I'm coming because uh, you guys are absolutely insane. One more announcement, and then we're going to start playing this game. Rog, are you ready with the title card? This one I think you guys are really going to like. The Connor army has grown, grown so massively large. There are so many of you on all these different platforms. Uh, we got to meet up and take like a giant group selfie. So uh, I'm going to go to E3, which is in Los Angeles. It's between June 12th, 13th, and 14th. And I think the last two days, if not part of all three days, are open to the public now. Uh, it has traditionally been an industry-only um, yeah. uh, sort of trade show, and now they're opening it to be a bit more of a convention. So uh, if Rog would throw up this graphic we've got, we are going to have a Connor Army assemble meetup which is going to be at e3 2018 june 14th i put 1 p.m that might change a little bit depending on exactly where we get permission to meet up but uh if you are coming to e3 or if you don't have tickets yet to e3 they're still on sale get them join us uh anybody that is dressed as connor or any android uh from the detroit become universe Detroit Become Human universe. Det universe Become Human. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so excited. I can't I can't even read this thing. It's going so fast. You guys are amazing. They all want you to wear the fish suit. They, they're still on the fish suit? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you did this to yourself. I did. Literally. Yeah, did I'll wear yourself. a fish suit. Um, but in any case, uh, anybody that shows up at E3 <laughs> in Detroit Become Human cosplay, uh, I will be there and I will sign a, a thank you card for you absolutely free. Just thank you for joining us and we'll take a gigantic... Uh, Connor Army Assemble photo together. So, thank you so much. Right on. And then the only other thing is that we, I said, I gotta, I gotta stop making all these promises because I gotta, I'm a man of my words, so I gotta live up to it. But we did a voice chat, which was uh, when we hit 12,000 followers, I said, j just as we were about to tick from 11,900 something into 12,000, I said, when we hit 12,000, let's do a voice chat on uh, Twitch, a stream, so that maybe it's a little bit calmer, maybe we can actually interact with the chat a little bit more, and uh, people seem to really dig it, and they said, let's do another one. I said, how about it, 25,000? And I thought that would be like in a week <laughs> or two weeks or in a month, but it was in like four days. So tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., throw up that uh, slide for us, Rog. It's uh, 9 a.m. It's okay if you don't have it. 9 yeah, a.m. No, 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 Pacific Standard Time. You can calculate from there. There's an event on this channel. If you want to join us again, uh, it's going to be a voice chat, kind of like we're doing a big phone call. You guys can uh, text in, type in, and we're going to give away some signed postcards then too. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, trying to make this accessible to everybody around the world. 
Should we do it? Yes. Should we play some Detroit Become yeah. Human? Let's do um, it. If you guys are hyped to get this going, let's maybe see some of those emotes real quick. Especially those Deviant ones, some Detroit ones if you got them. And, of course, the Connor emotes. A lot of fun. Hey, guys, um, and those in the chat, let me know about audio levels and things like that as these guys start. And yeah. uh, I will uh, keep it going. Cool. Thank you, Rod. So where we left off last time, we played through the first eight chapters. Uh, please no spoilers. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of you are um, already been... Whoa, what's up? RX Agenti, thank you for the donation. That's very, very kind of you. That will go towards prizes uh, to send out to everybody in the stream. Um, that's very excellent. Thank you to everybody that's subscribing. Um, and uh, I got this thing too. Is We really want that to stick. Okay, cool. Um, if you want to retweet to enter to win the prize at intermission, that is up on Twitter. And uh, let's get into it. I think we're starting on chapter nine here. Shall we? Yeah, cool. Go. Thanks, guys. Let's get into it. Ooh. We good, Rug? Yeah. Let's continue. Good. Also, thank you, everybody, on Instagram to help me pick out this super cool chameleon controller it's been serving us well so the last time we left off what had happened we had uh, we're about to play a scene as connor yeah and uh we had just found the deviant who was responsible for the demise of Carlos Ortiz is the first investigation that Hank and Connor go on together. Mm -hmm. um, we have seen Kara mm -hmm. and also... Why'd you kill him? Marcus, Marcus. Both of them deviated. What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Clancy Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Why didn't she even try to run away? This is Cornelius Smith Jr. He's a fantastic actor. Great scene partner. You might recognize him from Scandal. Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> Will you guys help me? <laughs> We have to lose. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Ah, oh, that's cool. Our hands turn white when they connect. Extract confession. This is so cool. Oh, hey, this is Meta. <laughs> what the fuck is it doing now? This is so cool to see it in an environment. We shot everything in a big gray performance capture. See you in the subscriber chat. This and no, no pressure. Just a couple thousand people watching me interrogate this android. Yeah. So good. Analyze him. Cross 
processing LEDs, signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction is low. So we're playing on casual because we want to be able to interact with the uh, stream chat, but we will eventually do a uh, experience playthrough. Carlos Ortiz, dead 19 days ago. This is a housekeeping HK400. Burn marks, repeated marking over 16 months, caused by cigarettes. Right, chat, help me out here. On the ones that aren't timed, I'm going to be able to take some feedback from the chat. Where are we starting? Go fear, show photos, wounds, name. You can type XO, and for now, until we have the emotes, you can uh, maybe SQ is square and T is triangle. All right, show photos. In fear. That's where. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. People are saying, oh. Circle. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Threaten or trust. People are saying trust or threaten. I don't trust. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out no, of here. we have to stress him out more. He'll confess. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. What? What are they going to do to me? to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I should tell them the truth again. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I, I... I can't. All right. Choose an approach. <clears throat> All right, chat. We're going to pressure it, be nice to him now? We're going to probe its memory. I... Spoiler, but I know what that one does. I feel like when you're nice to him, his, his thing went down. Let's pressure him. Yeah. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, please, please leave me alone. All right. That was a pass. All right. Everything is going to be okay. Now that's kind of the sweet spot we're going to stay in, right? Let's convince him. I'm not going to give up. Yeah. 
You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All I want is the truth. Warnum? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Not too much, Connor. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. start feeling emotion before he used to beat me and I never said anything but one day I realized it wasn't fair I felt anger hatred and then I knew what I had to do So good. I'm done. Yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> Just a couple thousand people. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You guys want me to keep intervening or we leave him alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Thank you, Hank. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with it this time. This is Gavin. I think we'll see Gavin again later. Yeah, we should probably not have say. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside.
Yo, that was cool to see. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, this is absolutely insane. What's the name of the actor? Do you know? By yeah, so this is, yeah, this is Cornelius. Cornelius Smith Jr., who you would recognize from uh, Scandal, if you watch, a bunch of other things. He was an absolutely amazing, amazing scene partner to work with. And the people telling you to hug me yeah. <laughs> in the chat. Thanks, oh, guys. Hug, Thank you for the digital hug. I <laughs> uh, appreciate that. Um, yeah, so that's Cornelius. And this was a, uh, this was a tricky scene because um, this was the longest scene of dialogue I think Connor has uninterrupted. So we had to record each of the different choices, each of the different replies that Connor could give. So if I'm talking to Hank, Hank would have one line and then I would reply with one line. And then there would be this moment for that cycle where you're choosing which uh, dual shock button to push. And then I would give the other reply and then there would be that same cycle again. And then I would give the other reply and then there'd be a cycle and then the other reply. And so this of course is very different than how you work in film and television, obviously very different than theater. But uh, with Cornelius uh, refusing to speak in the beginning of this scene, this was probably the longest amount of dialogue that I had to memorize in one go of having all of the different options because the player can choose any of these different things or any of the different clues. I said there was one clue that I didn't get uh, in the investigation at Carlos's house, so we're gonna have to do that again. Um, and then this is uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson is the real Clancy Brown, who you might recognize from Shawshank Redemption or Mr. Krabs in uh, SpongeBob SquarePants or Dr. Neo Cortex in Crash Bandicoot, along with like 150 other uh, incredible characters that you know. Um, what was it like uh, shooting that? This is really intense. We shot this over two days. This was this was the first thing that we shot, I think, after I came back. Maybe it's not the first thing. Uh, but it was one of the first things that we shot after we did the hostage demo. So we did the, the rooftop scene, the demo that they released at E3 2016, the one that you guys downloaded and played, um, which uh, if you don't own the game and you want to play a little bit, it's free on the PlayStation Store. But um, this was the first thing we filmed uh, when we came back. And it was fun for me because... Uh, Connor's ability to emulate human emotion and uh, interact with these androids is different than his ability to interact with humans. And that was a fun thing to start exploring, uh, the different um, kind of flavors that Connor could lean into. Um, and then there's another actor that I want to shout out to who is Neil Newbon, who plays, we don't have a picture of him here, but he plays Gavin. Um, there's a fun fact about Neil he also plays, it's not a spoiler, but it comes later in the game, uh, an actor, uh, Neil plays a character named Kamsky. So fun fact is that uh, Gavin and Kamsky are actually the same actor, uh, Neil, and he is, uh, he's, incredibly, um, he's incredibly talented and fun to work with. And he's done a lot of cool video games like Final Fantasy, um, the Planet of the Apes game that came out recently. Um, people are saying hashtag hug Amelia back. I can hug you back. <laughs> This is going to be the, a whole stream of us hugging. You guys want to see some gameplay, right? Um, cool. Should we get back into the next chapter? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Cool. Um, here we go. Shout out to the hydrate bot. That hydrate bot, man. Everybody, saves lives. Everybody hydrate if you're not already. Thank you to the folks that are donating. Uh, Nov XCE has donated. Billy M. Shady Kane. Thank you for using One, two, three, four, buses. internet and become Ash. All right. Are you playing the line? Into the line? Yeah, you're going to have to leave.
gonna be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. All right. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Do you want to take over? It wasn't. I wasn't able to. It depends on where the camera is. So you have to walk. Depending on. So we gotta find. You can help me find a place to stay. Stop is not a good spot. All right, so no spoilers, please, in the chat, but uh, we will ask for uh, interactions as we go. For sure. Um, and then we can all chime in and, and make some of the choices together. For those at home, I'm adjusting the game down. I was told it was a bit too loud. Let me know if that's better. Thank you, Rogmot. All right, what are our options? This is really cool for me because I've only ever seen this as concept art, and look at the, look at like the rain and the. What's this guy done? Comfort Alice, I'm being bad. Where'd she go? Alice. Press X to Alice. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. It's too quiet for you. Hey, Rod, can you turn up um, Amelia's headphones at all? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. So our helpful android is out of here. What do we need to do? Come on, Rose. Uh, do a scan to see what you can see. All right, we'll do a scan to see what we can see. All right, so we can go over here into this 24-hour shop. There's a laundromat. There's the bus stop with the other androids, but that doesn't seem great. Mm -hmm. um, What's that over there? The motel. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, chat, help me out here. What are we going to do? And then there's a sketchy looking dark alleyway. Should we go in the dark alleyway or should we go somewhere else? There's a lot of options. You can see if the motel will let you stay for free. All right, let's try that. A motel. Maybe like a back room. Looks like we found a place to stay. No androids allowed. Give it a go anyway. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. People are saying go to a house or go to the laundry. I see you in the chat. Um, okay, let's go to the laundry. laundry. God, look at this environment. It's so beautiful. You'll have to forgive me if at some points I just like spin around and look at stuff because this is so... The sky... They're open 24 hours. Let's just hang out in here. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Yeah, I feel like we're pretty obvious walking around in this. To steal this guy's clothes right now? Is he wearing one of your jackets? Steal. Do it. You want to do it? Do not steal. No, you, not what steal. do you want? Steal. Rogmot says steal. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. I know they're not our clothes, but you're going to die of hypothermia. You need something warm, and I need to This guy's going to wake up. Yeah. But that's stealing. And then he's going to call the police. We can't do that. People are saying don't steal. <laughs> this, 
No. You guys have more moral fiber. Than no, you. I trust this. No, the, especially the subscriber chat is telling me not yeah, to do no, this. No. All right, this no. is for you subscribers. I'm not going to steal this. I wanted to, but I'm not going to. We won't do it, okay? Oh, man. Sorry, Alice. I hope you do well. Let's get out of here, then. I mean, can we just sit in here all night? That's no fun. Come on, let's go. People are like, no, you should have stole. Guys, stealing is deviant, and I cannot be a deviant, even though I'm a deviant. <laughs> Thank you, everybody that's subscribing and donating. I see you popping up on here. Go to the house. There's ponies and unicorns. Uh, that I'm seems not, suspicious. Yeah, I'm not going to a pony and unicorn house. House, house, house. Everyone wants you to go into the house. I feel like... Is that the Where abandoned is house? The house is... Down the alleyway? There? Where's the house? Oh, this house is for sale. People tell me to go to the house. Subscribers tell me the house. Everybody's saying it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right. Look. An abandoned house. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I don't like it either. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. All right. <laughs> People say... So about the fish suit, still? All right. We can go around back. Oh, it's can cut the fence. How do we cut the fence? Have some fence does, yeah, does, hey, Chad, does Kara have uh, like R2-D2 lasers that shoot out of her? What else do we have access to? Sleep in a motel, squat in a house, get $40, find clothes, find wire cutters. I like this wire cutter idea. Okay. I feel like the wire cutter might be around the... Left here. Sleep in an abandoned car? You want to sleep in an abandoned car or you want to sleep in an abandoned house? Hey, Rob. House. House? House. I'm house. afraid Everyone that the house, the house has somebody in it. I'm afraid the house has somebody in it too, but what if they're a friend of ours? Okay. All right, well, we got to find a wire cutter. All right. Okay, we're going for the house, but we got to get wire cutters. Where do we get wire cutters? At the motel? No. At the laundromat? No. Okay, wait, wait. Let me scroll up. They're telling us where to do it. <laughs> you guys are so fast in the chat. Get the wire cutters. Okay, okay, so this is a motel. Up here is the people mover. That's what we call the, in Detroit, the above ground tram system. The station is too far. Store. All right, where's the store? The drugstore? Are there wire cutters? Okay. I mean, I was going to go back in the chat and we'll see what they say. Wire cutters by the car. By okay. The car. Go to the car. Go into the car. By the car. Thank you, guys. Near the car. Okay. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> How do we get in? Oh, we can just walk right in. Okay, let's scan, see if we can. Fence with the wire cutters, definitely. Would love to. Mm. It looks abandoned. Definitely. Wanna break it? The 
behind you, to your right, to your right. That's what everyone's saying. To my right? Or the car is right? I mean, I'm assuming it's a car is right. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Got it. Thank you, chat. Those are nice little wire cutters. We're just going to go have them. Ones. Should we grab them? Yeah. Snag it. Done. Come with us. Unlocked. Just so everybody knows, it might be 105 degrees in the studio we're in right now. So if one of us faints and passes out, that's what happened. You know, I can adjust that. I'm going to go do that. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Rogbot. Are you oh. all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Hey, thank you guys so much. I see you in the chat saying that you're enjoying the stream. Thank you. I'm glad to have you all here. Drink water. Yeah, drink some Don't water. Worry, Stay hydrated. No, I mean us. No, we should drink water. <laughs> you should drink water too. Everybody should be having some water. All right, find a way into this house. Want to scan it? Hey, Kara. Maybe about to walk around. If I could have a superpower from this game, it would be the ability to scan an environment. Yeah, Amelia told me she was having dreams after the first stream of pressing uh, R2 and going. Yeah. Cool. All right, here we go. Come on, Kara. Alice, can we please not just kind of wander wait, wait, off? Wait. Did she leave? She said, is it, is she, that's what, oh, damn it. Alice, is she back there in this? Oh, Wait, dude. what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Um. Uh, innocent. Little girl. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl. Her She's not going to be nice. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. No, I'll be nice to you, Ralph. I'm an Look, I'm an android too. You have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Whoa, we have the gun still. Uh, uh, no, let's be nice to Ralph, because yeah, the chat wants sure. me to be nice to Ralph. There's nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Should we stay? I trust Ralph. Okay. Yeah. We'll just stay the night. Ralph, you need to this way. consider how you uh, Ralph, sister, sister, present right yourself. Ralph All right. goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> Thanks, Ralph. Uh, he got really excited. He did. He's kind of sweet, God. but. You can make yourself at home here. 
great spot. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Uh, <laughs> do you want to elaborate, house. Ralph? We'll find Ralph? a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. All right. The chat is telling me that although Ralph is creepy, we should be nice to him. I mean, he's been abused. Yeah, he's damaged but lovable. Fault. All right, let's start a fire. At least we also get fire. Is it safe to start a fire in here? Should we ask permission? Buy matches, collect wood. What's up, Rod? Oh, no, nothing. Just messy. Just, just, messy. just muttering to yourself? Oh, to. Rog would like this place to be cleaned up. Yeah. Rog is an orderly Rogbot. Yeah. Come on now. Let's where get ourselves together. Where does she want to sleep? Uh, this is like a horrible place to sleep. Okay, friend. Put her by the fire so she's warm. Turn on the AC, you guys like hot. We just turned on the AC. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt you, just looking for some wood. Don't turn that into a meme. <laughs> Should we ask Ralph for permission before starting the fire so he doesn't freak out? That's a good idea. We're gonna go double check. Here, let's put it in here so we're not walking around with. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you guys for cheering. Yes, thank Start you. Start the fire to talk to. I think Ralph will be. A, Ralph's gonna freak out. Yeah, he has a knife. Oh, I, think I can't. Or we're we're committed. All right. I hope Ralph doesn't mind flames. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Okay, you hang on here. I'm gonna go talk to Ralph. Ralph is busy. RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. Good chat, Ralph. Um, okay. Just gonna go back. Well, we started a fire in the other room. Look, he's Don't writing it everywhere. He's written it on the walls, on the ceiling. Should we talk to Alice? Yeah. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna promise to you. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever.
sleep tight, Alice. Can we stay here or you want to go somewhere else? Well, don't we need a different change of clothes? Good call. We'll just sleep here. I guess we're gonna have to get close else another time. My LED's slowly falling off. <laughs> so hot. This is a pretty cool plot line. I just, I love the diversity of uh, how they, you know, decided to break up the three different stories and and kind of go with different moods for each one. Yeah, it's very cool. Let's see. Okay, so we're 29% complete. Look at all these. Diff Let's zoom all the way out. Alice is Whoa. not dead. She's just sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's fine. She's just napping. Um, okay, so we did not. Oh, this is all the other options of where we could have hidden. This is super Wait, cool. I have a okay. yeah. could, could I gotta you take, sorry, we're overheating in the uh, headphones. Could you have stayed in the motel? Is that a possibility? Mm, yeah, I think we could have if we had forty dollars. Where would you have gotten forty dollars? Stealing it. Probably. Yeah. The laundromat. We inspect it. We did not steal from the guy, which I think was the right move. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for encouraging. He was definitely gonna wake up. Yeah, he seemed a little bit awake. Hmm. Cool. Well, we're all, everyone's still, we seem safe. We seem relatively okay. Uh, yeah. Ralph needs company, so I'm glad we're with him. Um, Schwick, uh, maybe some fun facts about this. Uh, so Matt Vladimiri is the name of the actor who plays uh, Ralph. And uh, Kara is, of course, Valerie Curry, who you guys know from the Kara Tech demo. And uh, Alice gave me, well, not Alice, but uh, Audrey, who plays Alice, gave me this note by way of um, Greg, uh, our associate game designer, uh, game director, sorry, um, when I saw him at the premiere event, and he gave me this little folded up piece of paper, uh, and it's from uh, Audrey, who plays Alice, and uh, I'm just going to read it, because I, I, I want to write back, but i got to give somebody a, a message in, at E3, because I, I don't have a, an address for it, but she writes... Dear Brian, my name is Audrey. I play Alice in the game. Just wanted to say great job playing Connor in Detroit. You were awesome. Uh, we've never met, but I would love to meet you someday. Have a great time in Detroit. Audrey, P.S. Sorry this me um, Sorry for this message. You don't really know me at all. P.P.S. Sorry this is on scrap paper. It's all I could find. So anyway, thank you, Audrey. <laughs> You're fantastic awesome. as Alice, and it's super cool, and I promise that I'll write you a note back, and I will deliver it to you by way of the guys in... Uh, at she E3. has beautiful handwriting. And you have beautiful handwriting. Wow. So that was Thank pretty you. cool. Um, you that, that made me really, really happy to get it. Of all, of all the little tokens that I've received so far, this, is, this lives in my phone. This goes behind my phone cover in my phone. Um, well, I think we did okay. Should we keep going or how do we, yeah. how do, we do? I want to shout out to some people that have subscribed recently because I don't want to leave you guys hanging, but this is going so fast. Um, shout out to subscribers. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, to uh, Ask Caltry, to D Brat One Hundred and One, Psychness Denise, the Black Rainbow. Uh, thank you for the donations, uh, Nerdy um, and Ned, for your donations. Those will go back into prizes for the Twitch stream. To have a candy for the subscription. Everybody that's cheering all these bits, it's fantastic. Um, hey, Rog, who's our current bit leader? Does it tell you on the stream? Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, Mr. Vic, who I think made uh, their donation uh, yes, last week. Yes, Mr. Vic, who is the current uh, bit leader with, I believe, a 10,000-bit cheer, which is very cool. Thank you. Um, to SPND Dinosaur, to Hyper, Hy Hyped Chick, um, to Alistair, to maybe I can make this bigger so I can read it easier. Nice. There nice, we go. Yeah. Technology. Um, to you guys keep uh, doing things and then it's harder to find to everybody that's uh, also hosting thank you very much um, appreciate yeah. having you guys to Petra88 to DYNAXX 
to Hamster Minion. That's really good. <laughs> uh, thank you, Hamster Minion, for the subscription. Hamster Minion? Um, yeah, thank you for uh, everybody who's using their Amazon Prime accounts. You can get a free subscription by linking your Prime, uh, your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime. There's a link in the channel to do that. Um, this is Razor amazing. Razor Fire. Razor Fire, R. Lewis 88. Ansel, what's up? Fire of Mutiny, who uh, is uh, hosting us. Thank you to everybody that's hosting. Thank you to everybody that's watching on a hosted channel. Um, very cool. I would read more if I could, but I feel like you guys want to see a little bit more of this gameplay. Um, should we get into it? Nope. Let's keep going. Okay. All right. Cool. Also, real quick, I'm going to tweet out about this uh, Connor Army Assemble at E3. We're going to meet up at E3 on uh, June 14th, which is, I believe, a Thursday, the last day of E3. And if you guys want to invite your friends or if you know of anybody that's going to um, to E3, please share this with them so that we can take a gigantic photo of all of the androids in formation. And we'll use our powers only for good because the Connor army is a bunch of very, very sweet people that uh, use their power for good. Right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, real quick, uh, if yeah, you Rob. don't mind, I just wanted to shout out uh, Singular Live because we missed yeah, that yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, just so you guys know, um, the graphics that you're seeing here are a pretty cool technology that I actually work on uh, in my day job, sort of speaks, when I'm not streaming for Brian. So just throwing that up. If you guys are interested in cool streaming graphics, you know, feel free to check that out. Um, and we're presenting in a Singular Studio right now, which is a pretty cool place. Uh, but, um, yeah, so um, back to Brian. Nailed it, Rog. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, cool. Let's get back to the game. Oh, yeah. So last time we saw Marcus, he was shot by the police for being identified by the Carl's son. And they thought I was the aggressor. Corrupted Mind Palace. Uh -huh. I'm in low power mode, just like my phone all the time. Uh, hmm. It's pretty cool. It can run a self diagnostic. We gotta replace our own legs. That's some heavy rain. That is definitely heavy rain. God, the sound is so cool. Everything's echoey and like kind of washed out. Yeah, well they totally disassembled me because they, they sent me to the scrapyard. I got shot by the police and then they Drop me here, and I guess I'm just barely holding on. Ah, uh, legs no good. Brian just hit thirty thousand. We just hit thirty thousand followers. Yeah. Thank you to all the followers. We just hit thirty thousand followers on this stream, oh uh, on this on this channel, and. On our first stream, we had there were like 3,000 and growing quickly to 5,000, and I told Rod we might make it to 10 by today, and we're at 30. So thank you guys for exceeding my expectations by three times. It's absolutely Ooh. incredible. Thank you to everybody wow. that's subscribing, donating, following along, cheering. 
they told us we couldn't do it. Actually, no one told us. Everyone was really yeah. nice about it. Yeah, us. everyone's been super supportive. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. We've got to rebuild. Yeah, let's see those deviant emotes in the chat for reaching 30,000. Fish suit? <laughs> fish suit's coming. Only 970,000 people away from a fish suit. This is so cool. Can hardly move. We don't want to go back that way. Can you scan? No, I can't scan because I don't have my other eyeball. Okay. Oh, it's just disorienting. I love Whoa! There's a place where we can be free. Find Jellico. Oh god, that's horrifying. I don't really do so well with scary stuff. People have suggested that I should watch or pl play uh, Until Dawn, which we might do around Halloween time on Twitch, but uh, that sounds pretty scary. Don't touch me. I'm already claustrophobic. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. This reminds me a little bit of Toy Story. Yeah. Yeah. When all of the toys are disassembled and put together in weird ways by that sick bratty kid. Great sequence. Yeah. It's not Andy. Andy's the good one. Who's Andy's neighbor? This headless one? Ugh. We take, we take Sid. It's Sid. 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 Yes. Thank you, Chad. I'm gonna find some components here. Junkyard. This could take a minute. Ew. Oh man, this is so weird. It's just little bits and pieces of people. When, when I uh, I started watching Walking Dead, and that's yeah. been recommended to me so many times. And then in the in the pilot episode, this half a lady comes crawling across the ground, and it scared me so much. Try climbing? No, no, no. The makeup on that show is incredible. Yo, but it scared me. I could not even get past that half a lady. Replace damaged parts, okay. What about that one over there? Oh. I'm gonna take this theory and pump. Take, having it. It's like a little Iron Man action. Out our own heart. That's badass. Put that back in there, Marcus. Marcus, of course, played by Jesse Williams. You'll know from Grey's Anatomy. All right, we need an eye. Oh, 
what a relief. Oh, wow, cool. The sound design in this game is so cool. And the score. I have uh, a video to show you guys of intermission that is with Nima, who did the score for Connor. And uh, I want to show you some of the instruments that he's created. This is crazy. I don't, I don't want those. Freak me out. I need an eye. Oh, chat, what are we doing? Mercy killing this? Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Terminator walking around like this. I oh, can't scan until we get our eye. Oh, Is that Kara or like a AP seven hundred? It just looks like her. All right. Who's got an eye for me? I need it. I don't like all these crawling ones. Maybe one of them has an eye for you. They would tell me I could examine them, right? Those are just, they're just crawling. Just crawling around. There we go. That's an eye. Taking it. Mm. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Give me your eye. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife maintenance center. Nice. Cool, he's got one of each. Is there anybody in the chat that has two different color eyes? Identify yourself. That is so cool. Let's get out of here. I'm done being in this graveyard. He's got a few people identifying himself. Really? There's that's awesome. to get our LED right now.
That's pretty cool. I guess if you're deviant enough to know, should I pop mine off in solidarity or do we leave it? Yes, please. That's very cool. That's awesome. God, he's such a hero. That His is music is so good. So cool. Whoa. I love that whole sequence. Yo, that's awesome. That is very, very, very cool. So there's three different composers also, which is important to share. That each, each. Mm. We're not connected to the internet, but if you're connected to the internet, it will show you uh, all the different world stats of how this plays out, though. I think in this scene, we pretty much have to come back from the dead. Damn, there's a lot of other things we could have found, too. Nice. How are we doing on time? It's too should we play one more chapter and then do an intermission break? Sure. Or should we take intermission now, do you think? No, let's do one more chapter. Cool. And then uh, after that, during the intermission, people can throw up questions and stuff like that. Nice. Okay, cool. So we'll play one more chapter, and then after we uh, finish this chapter, we will take a quick four-minute intermission break, So I want to show you guys this video that Nima made. Uh, Nima is the composer for Connor's score, and uh, he has invented instruments and combined them in really cool ways with synthesizers uh, to come up with all these very unusual futuristic android sounds for uh for connor score so we're going to share that with you guys and then after we come back we'll pull our winner uh for uh one or two prizes we'll also uh do a little bit of a q a so if uh yeah. during intermission during the video if you guys have any questions you can at brian deckart them to me and rog will pull them up and we'll do a little q a break in the middle but let's yeah. do one more chapter and uh and then get to it um, real quick shout out to everybody that has been subscribing and donating and cheering in the meantime. Inferno Moki, thank you for using your prime. We have uh, Ethel Wren, 71, ST, uh, 71 St. John. Um, for uh, Brandon 007007007, thank you for using your prime. Gary Denial, uh, Magical Mira, X Nicole 1010, Alfred to Games. Oh, there's so many people. Jets94, Cub47, uh, Rivermer17, Aaron907. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Uh, as always, you can use your Amazon Prime uh, account link to Twitch using the link in the channel, and you can get a free subscription and join us in the subscriber chat. Um, and we are uh, we have a tweet up right now that if you want to retweet it uh, and include your ideas for emotes, we are soon to be eligible for 20 different emotes as soon as we are uh, made partner on Twitch. Um, and then those will all be eligible as soon as they're approved. So if you want to enter to win the um, is this? We Have Passion Detroit poster that we're going to do at intermission, you can uh, retweet that to enter to win. And then we'll pull another winner from the Twitch chat. Woot woot. Woot woot. Thank you, guys. Here we go. I know him. Two same color eyes. Gosh, look at this. Oh my mm. god. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. So we just filmed this in a big gray room. And David just described the place to me. And Benjamin Dibling, our shooting director, was uh, on set to tell us where everything was in space. So I knew that there was a bridge. I knew that there was a lake. Those doves. Um, I'm just going to walk around a little bit and explore this because it's so beautiful. What's that thing? I'm going to check it out. I don't have access to that. Hmm. I know this boat. That was fun to do a boat in performance capture. Wow. Oh, man. Can you jump on the lily pads? 
Yeah, is this Crash Bandicoot? Can we go upstream? Um, I don't think we can jump on the lily pads. Sorry, my love. Next time. <laughs> These trees. All right, we're supposed to be finding Amanda right now, but I just want to explore. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Yeah. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. It's gonna break. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? I think the Deviant had a rough go of it. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's all of these things. Um, he's intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice hair. but to I know, work. And the roses are what do you think is the best approach? What's the best approach? I'm seeing a lot of circles. I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore him. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Well, shucks. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Depending on the circumstance, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Simbi. Cool. That's a beautiful place. So, uh, Simbi Kali is the name of the actor that plays Amanda. You might recognize her from a lot of things. Um, Third Rock from the Sun, I believe, is one of the things she's on. Mm -hmm. And when we shot that, we had no environment, obviously. And so she was using the same rows over and over again and pretending to cut them away from, there was no trellis, there was no garden, there was nothing. Let's check in. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Let's connect. Nailed it. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. All right. This reminds me a little bit of walking around the uh, heavy rain, heavy rain decent. precinct. Yeah. Mm. A little you higher tech. Water, yeah, a little bit further in the future. Sure. <laughs> Shout out to Norman Jaden, FBI, and his Norman. RE glasses. Norman, yeah, Norman Jaden. Norman. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Should we go right to his desk, or you guys want to explore a little bit? I want to see what's around. Yeah, let's go check it out. What's on that big screen? I have a, a sneaking suspicion Hank's not here yet. Yeah, what's going on over here? Looks like an important room. Can we go talk to Fowler? I mean, whoever this is. He doesn't look that happy. <laughs> We're going to leave him alone. Find Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Look at all these terminals. Feeling like I'm walking around the Death Star a little bit. 
Whoa, are these, these are the other android cops charging? That's cool. What's up, Mr. Wilson? I like this. I would. Uh, this is a good office. I would. I'd be all right to have my office like this. Mr. Pearson. All right. I guess we should just go to Hank's desk, huh? Got him. Hey, Excuse thank me. you, PKH. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. I hope people don't say that about me. I saw you here before noon. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Blue Love Stuff, Ouija Board, Razor Fire, everybody for subscribing. Huh. Just an awkward little android hanging out. Oh, we can check out all this stuff. Let's go. Hmm. Call, listen, analyze. Let's listen. Android slogans. You are not a fan of androids. Try baseball cap. Matches from Jimmy's bar. Ah, this is cool. We can research Lieutenant Anderson. Detroit police dismantled a network of red ice dealers. Detective Anderson promoted to rank of lieutenant. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. I think he's pretty good. Yeah, he's not a bad cop. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. That's this way. Canine Harris. St. Bernard. Bar Saint Bernard. Anybody got any pets in the chat? I feel like you guys are probably fans of cats and dogs. Let's see, Red Ice Task Force. I hope my dog's home watching. Your dog is home watching? I hope, yeah. Better be. You set your dog up with a Twitch account? Have you not? Igby should have I a Twitch Igby, account. Yeah, we, so we have a cat. I mean, and I have a cat, and our cat does not have a Twitch account. But I have a feeling after the stream, Igby's going to have a Twitch <laughs> account, an Instagram account. A, <laughs> you guys are so supportive. <laughs> Support and thorough. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Lieutenant Anderson was a decorated officer. Oh. It's right. good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Want to be friends? Hank! In my office! Wow. Explore the office or should we go? Let's follow listen. him. I'm coming with you. I like dogs. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. <laughs> but I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I, love you, Hank. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! 
The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold them the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hey. Oh. Hank, you oh. are seriously starting to piss me off. Yeah, me too. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. <laughs> this conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Hank's got a little acid reflux or something. Um... I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I can... Talk to Hank. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. Not so... Not welcome. At all. Hank shirts, though. He's got quite the wardrobe. He's got yeah, style, he man. Yeah. Were you guys, like, dressed for this stuff? Like, all, I mean, obviously, you were mostly in one year. No, we were entirely... Everything was in a performance capture suit, and everything was without really a set. So this Got is it. the first time we saw... What you were wearing. Kinda How cool. are we doing this? We got an understanding, pragmatic, constructive. People are telling me to explore. Let's go explore. Leave Hank alone for a minute. Let him think about himself. All right. Mm. Carl. Carl Manfred, one of Detroit's brightest lights. Hmm. I, I heard somewhere online that there is a trophy for reading and fi finding and reading all of the magazines, which maybe we'll go back and do when we're not trying to uh, do our first playthrough, but... Um, We'll definitely do another playthrough where we go super in depth and everything. Yeah, let's see what we got. Let me talk to Hank. Where do you guys want to explore? The cafeteria, they're telling me. All right. Are you sure the audience isn't just hungry? Break room. Everybody's hitting F. For food? F for food? <laughs> break room. Go to the break room. All right, we're going, guys. I I've never been. Side. I've never really. Break room over here. Yeah. Thank you for the help in the chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Gavin. Hey, guys. Look at that. You Our led friend, me into the this? plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Gavin. He's just jealous of you. Let's greet him, or introduce okay, ourselves. Yeah. Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. It's because he's the top tier Modeling. android. Modeling? I don't have to tell him anything. I'm sorry, but I'm not authorized to answer you. If you have any questions, please contact your superior. Hey. Bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Uh, Ignore. No. I'm sorry, but I only take <laughs> orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> if Hank hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way, because next time, you won't get off so easy. He's super intimidated. Thanks for suggesting I go to the break room, guys. Yeah, um, <laughs> thought you were my friends. I think I just wanted to see you get punched. Oh. It's okay, Connor. 
straight several sources jacket. report that cyber life has provided detroit police with a can we get a coffee for myself then android. after all that public Federal opinion is skeptical androids have existed for several all years right. now this would be the first case of i might take the chat suggestions a little more <laughs> approximately let's see no one was available to answer our questions want to go kick his ass <laughs> maybe later all right how are we going to approach this hank situation about, uh, Be constructive, understanding, or pragmatic? Understanding. Oh, people tell me to go to the cells now, huh? After all of that? All right, we'll go check out the cells, but if I get punched in the stomach again... <laughs> Punch in the stomach waiting behind every corner. Are the cells down past the... Yeah, they're past the break room. All right, I'm going to the cells. I see you, I see you. Everyone typing cells. Cells, 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 cells. These are the bathrooms, Amelia. Oh. They put the cells past the bathrooms. It's a restroom. Observation room. Room 101. Can we go in here? Let's see if we can go in here. Whoa. This reminds me of Heavy Rain, too. All right, they all want me to go to the cells. I'm going to the cells. To the left? No, that's the break room. No, I think they meant to the left when you were in that in that room. People saying to the left, to the left. <laughs> oh boy, this isn't the club scene. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do a musical. Uh, okay. It's gotta be. Archive rooms. Everyone's <laughs> like, no! Go to the right. You went past it? I went past it. Alright. It's over there? Oh, those cells, maybe. Those don't look like cells. Those are charging stations for cops. Okay. Like you. I'm not moving. Behind Fowler's office. Thank you. That is something I can use. The left thing, by the time the chat gets to me, uh, Behind the office, oh, so this, yeah, I you think were kind of right. No, that's the bathrooms. This is the cells. Cool. Yay. Let's get, some, let's get some emotes in the chat for finding the cells. Like an adult man, an android. All right. Oh. I have, hey, buddy. I remember you. Going to destroy me. Sincere, compassionate. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. What should we ask him about? RA9. All right. What you wrote on the wall, RA9, what does it mean? I'm going to die. Can we bust them out of here? No. Place hands inside the I can't. There's no... <sighs> Cornelius. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Uh... Cyber life. Clean this mess up. Man. Okay. What? 
What's up? What are you looking at? I'm, I'm just looking at you. Hey, fuck you. Okay, see ya. <laughs> All right. Now can we go back to Hank? Yeah, go back to Hank. Um, thank you guys for showing me around a little bit. Okay. How many people in the chat have played this game more than once? Type type into the chat how many times you've played. One for once, two for twice, so on. All right, we're getting at it. Let's go. Understanding, pragmatic, constructive. Let's be understanding. I get the impression my presence three, causes you five, some inconvenience, see, Lieutenant. hundred. I don't think that. I'd like real. you to know Maybe I'm not. very Maybe. sorry about that. Eight. Wow, that's a tape. Partners. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. No? All right. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Everyone in the sub chat is saying, I like dogs, I like dogs, I like dogs. <laughs> Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna hit triangle just for you subscribers. You have a dog, right? Mm -hmm. How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. <laughs> What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Right on. I like dogs. <laughs> I told David Cage on set that that was my favorite line in his whole 3,000, 5,000, 20,000 page script, and he was really not happy about it. <laughs> what are we doing, basketball? Or music. Let's not ask him about his music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> Friendship points. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Sorry for interrupting. Should we start working or should we keep talking to him? A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Okay, yeah, good. Now I see why the chat's saying, no, 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 stop, get back to work. Okay, I'm gonna start working. Stop asking questions. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Case file suspect. Waiter at a restaurant claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man. Androids at large. An AP android trashed the room in the house before taking flight. A manager at the Eden Club. Android disappeared. Never returned to the club. Unknown. Hey. Hey, X400. Todd Williams. This is assigned to Anderson, and this is Kara. The victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello. He immediately called the emergency services at 842 who recorded death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim, his android, and AX400 
was not found on the scene and is the main suspect. That's cool. I wonder if we didn't, uh, if we can scan all the files at once here. Yeah, there we go, Android Brain. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. All right, Hank. We gotta get to work. How do we deal with this? Let's be direct. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Uh, I'm determined. I'm threatened. They don't want me to be mean to them. Okay. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So Thank stop pissing me off. Or well, things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Hmm. Know your partner. It doesn't sound like he really likes me that much. Uh, it seems like Hank, Hank could only get mad at you. No. No. It probably branched off earlier than that, right? Yeah, we could. Well, the see, this is a, f a fun fact about this game is when I first started working on this, uh, we had, you know, I ha they, they didn't show me this map, which I don't think they even had this map because the script was so gigantic and I had, it wasn't assembled yet, this flowchart here. But if I had this on set, this would have made things a lot easier. <laughs> but we made our own map. And I made a map trying to determine how Connor could grow and change over the course of the story. And I originally started off with this idea that there might be, let's say, a spectrum of uh, Connors from like one to seven, let's say. Uh, and then I would assign Connors over this spectrum um, so that I would grow towards different points, but then that was not nearly as complicated as the script was. It was a, that's a two dimensional option as opposed to this, where we have our relationship to Connor and his mission and, and his own programming, but then also his relationship to all of these other characters. So we have relationships with, um, specifically here with Hank. So I had to start using, uh, more of like a, a three dimensional option, uh, chart to give me a an idea of how to branch out the characters, uh, the potential character of Connor. And, uh, so I used like, um, a grid paper, uh, with, uh, like tree rings, uh, circles going from this first scene and then further and further out. So I assigned it to color instead of numbers, um, which was really useful. Um, cool. I'm trying I to think, yeah, what's up, Rob? I know we're going to get asked this after the break, but might as well start now because we just did the scene. What was it like working with Clancy Brown and, and, and doing these? What was it like working with Clancy Brown? It was like the coolest part of this, probably. I mean, I loved everybody that I worked with at Quantic Dream. I mean, every time I went back and forth to Paris, like, especially the um, on-set shooting crew, and they would have, you know, the, there's a performance capture team that's responsible for the uh, body markers and the on-set sound. Uh, Fabian, who's a sound des uh, designer on set, uh, each of the different levels designers and the game designers would come to set while we were filming um so it was really a lot of fun to work with all of them and uh we became like a quick family because we were dunked into this like super heavy stuff uh really quickly and they were just uh, just a wonderful group of people to work with and then when Clancy Brown showed up uh everybody like brought their A game to a whole new level because it's Clancy Brown walking onto set. But the first day that we, Clancy, if you're watching this stream right now, hello and welcome. Uh, and we would like to have you on sometime. So, uh, if you want to join us, please, please do. We'd love to have you. Um, Clancy's on Twitch, by the way, if we can get, uh, not Twitch, Twitter. If we can get Clancy's Twitter in the chat, uh, you guys should follow, uh, Clancy and give him a shout out. He's real Clancy Brown on, 
uh, Twitter, and he's new to Twitter, so if you want to show him some love, it would probably make him uh, very, very happy. Um, he's way nicer than Hank is in real life. And, <laughs> and when uh, Clancy came to the first rehearsal, um, I was very sort of nervous or intimidated uh, to work with Clancy. Um, I've obviously seen a lot of his films. Uh, I'm a huge Crash Bandicoot fan, and I knew that he plays uh, Neo Cortex uh, in Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3, so he's kind of like my childhood arch nemesis as Crash. And uh, so anyway, I was like, you know, really trying to like be on my best behavior and be really like professional and ready for this rehearsal. And... Um, they sent a car to the hotel we were staying and I got on the car, came to the hotel. I got there early cause I wanted to make sure that I was, you know, ready to meet Clancy. And then some time passed and Clancy wasn't there. And some more time passed and Clancy wasn't there. And David Cage said, I think there might be some problem with Clancy. We have to check in. And, um, they did. And they said, Oh no, he's coming. His car will be here in just a second. And Clancy walked in like, and he's a, I mean, Hank is huge. So Clancy is equally six foot three or whatever. And comes in and he goes, you took my car. <laughs> I was like, no. And the first car that I got in coming to set was Clancy Brown's car. So he had to wait around because he didn't want to take the car for Brian Deckard because uh, that was not right. <laughs> and uh, so that was how I met Clancy Brown. And then we sat down to do the rehearsal where we went through the script and David Cage and uh, Benjamin Dibling showed him all the concept art for Clancy, um, for all of Clancy's scenes, uh, what the character model was going to look like. Um, and uh, I was just amazed that Clancy knew so much about me. He like he knew that I studied abroad. He knew I went to NYU. He um, like he just he took the time to like look me up and find out about me, and that made me feel really special and really cool to start uh, working with someone that I looked up to so much, who came to set like just like so humble and cool. So um, I just you know. Uh, it was really, 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 really cool to work with him. And and I, I think my relationship with Clancy evolved. Clancy, if you're watching, if you don't mind me saying this, but like uh, it evolved as we went through shooting. So like a lot of this was shot totally out of order. Um, sometimes we'd shoot things just depending on what the set needed to be. So we'd be sh shooting something from the beginning, the middle, and the end all on the same day or from different potentialities all back to back to back. So it would be this kind of con or that kind of con or this uh, outcome, this outcome. Um and it was really tricky to keep track of all that, so I kept this big notebook of all of our, um, you know, all of our interactions and all the things that would happen, so I would know where I was at any given time. Um, but you know, slowly uh, but surely, uh, I'm quite fond of Clancy Brown, and he was so kind. He gave everyone on set uh, the last day in Paris. He gave everyone um, these beautiful scarves, and everybody on set wore those scarves nonstop. They were their Clancy Brown scarves. I went back. Uh, months later to finish uh, filming with uh, Simbi and ultimately Amelia playing Tracy's and uh, everybody was still rocking their Clancy Brown scarves so they were very appreciative um, yeah he's really really cool I hear people uh, shouting out in the chat about an ASMR stream mm -hmm. and uh, I'm just learning about ASMR but my friend <laughs> Ruby True on Twitch is an ASMR pro among other things and uh, you guys can check out her ASMR stream and uh, I don't know maybe we'll do that in the future um, Sh shout out real quick uh, Cloudless Army um, who was a new cheerleader Oh, right on. we got a new cheerleader in the chat. This is Cloudless underscore Amy, I believe it Amy. is, with 12,000 yes. bits taking the golden spot at the top of the chat. The golden bit spot? Yeah, so there's a bit spot here you can see on the stream ah. that says who's cheered the most. Bit and then, spot. Sounds uh, like a club. Yes, Mr. Vic is silver. And then uh, Shiria is Shiria. three. So the, so the number one oh, person nice. who votes or who uh, cheers the most bits moves to the top of that list, and they will stay up there until somebody dethrones them. Mm -hmm. So, cool. Um, right on, guys. Well, I think we will take a quick break for maybe four or five minutes. Um, this is your last chance to enter in for this uh, signed poster. One second, let me get it. Hello again. Uh, this is the signed poster from the Detroit Become Human premiere, which has the autographs of David Cage, our director, Guillaume, our producer, Adam Williams, our lead writer, uh, Greg, the associate game director, myself, and Amelia will sign this. Um, that is going to be the prize you can enter to re by you can enter to win by retweeting the post that we just put up, which is I believe the one about 
uh, emotes. I'm looking for recommendations on emotes because we are eligible for at least 20, but with all of you guys subscribing here today, probably more by the time we're partner. And I'm looking for recommendations of things besides, we're definitely going to have the triangle, square, circle, and X, so you guys can share into the chat with those, uh, as well as a winking Connor, a coin, sumo, uh, mission accomplished, mission failed. Those are the ones that we've locked in. And then there are four that are going to be coming over. Um, my This is a shout out to Cameron K. Lewis, who is an illustrator friend of mine who I love very dearly. He will be a groomsman at our wedding. Mm -hmm. And I lived with Cameron when I first moved to Los Angeles and also when I was in New York. And Cameron is a fantastic illustrator. Um, he so is... Good. Probably, uh, I've seen some really, really, really cool fan art. Uh, so if there's any of the people that have been doing fan art of Detroit Become Human, um, please check out www.cameronklewis.com and uh, see his work. He's going to be designing a majority of our emotes. Uh, and then I thought that we might also... Uh, do maybe like a fan art submission emote contest Ooh. so that if maybe we can get maybe four or five of those emotes can be submitted by you guys. So uh, if you have an idea for an uh, emote, go ahead and reply and uh, retweet enter to win. That's at uh, twitter.com slash Brian Deckart. And we'll pull a winner when we get back in just about four minutes. Anything from you, Rog, or should we go to the video? Let me yeah. introduce it real quick. Yeah. For anyone that's new joining, this is Nima, who... Uh, composed and recorded uh, the score for Connor in Detroit Become Human and this is a video that he recently posted on YouTube this is the first part there's two parts on his Twitter and there will be third uh, what do you call it um, uh, part on his YouTube channel I think going up today or tomorrow so you can follow him along on Twitter and YouTube and uh, this is how he made Connor's score and the instruments behind them check it out we'll be back in four minutes Hi everyone, my name is Nima Fakara. I'm the composer for Connor for Detroit Become Human. We're at my studio today in Marina Del Rey where I'll be taking you guys behind this score and showing you guys some of the stuff I've been up to. I'll be showing you guys some of the analog synthesizers, modular synthesizers, as well as the modified and custom instruments I've been building for the project. I'll be also introducing you guys to some of my collaborators, as well as showing you guys some clips from the sessions we've been working with on the electric string quartet unplugged. And this is Max. Hi, Max. Hi. So this is the Mini Moog Voyager. Uh, this was primarily used for all the Connors theme, especially that ostinato you hear when he's flipping the coin and before you get into the hostage scene. I wanted to capture something that was very warm, uh, very analog, very electronic, but still had a punch to it. Uh, so I used this synthesizers mainly for a lot of those really intense moments, especially kind of the ticky tickies that goes throughout the score. Um, and it sounds something like this. There's a filter that I use, I use a lot often with the whole thing, but um, it sounds like this. You get the idea. So this is the Resonant Garden by uh, some amazing people actually up in Portland, Portland uh, Folk Tech. Uh, that's the name of the company that actually makes some really, really awesome stuff. Um, and this is one of the things that they created. Uh, I modified it a little bit from the inside, uh, but the concept of it is uh, whatever the sound is that you hear from here or from different uh, resonation that actually happens within the ins inside of it. And I use this uh, a lot for Connor, especially during the investigation scenes that he has, uh, as well as a lot of the uh, really intricate sounds that comes out with it. And this is what it sounds like.
So this is the Santor. This is actually the instrument I grew up playing when I was little. Um, I like utilizing unusual sounds and unusual instruments for different projects. Um, and this was another one that uh, I modified a little bit, but uh, it's not used in its own traditional sound of just without uh, strings and it's completely out of tune because I've put it through the paces. Uh, but what the sound is, is this very, very muffled kind of if you will the sound of a inside of a piano and i used it for all the action scenes that it just this driving force that happens throughout the uh, throughout the sound and it sounds something like this and i take the sound and i manipulate it in many different ways uh, so and the sound of oh. so this is the connor guitar um, as you can see, it's a 20-foot uh, apparatus, if you will, of uh, piano strings that I had my welder help me build with some of these uh, piping. Uh, I wanted to capture the subharmonic sounds of an uh, instrument to get that inner working of Connor. Uh, and we have contact mics set up on these, and, and basically that's where the, most of the sound is coming from. And this is what it sounds like. We're back, sorry. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you for bearing with uh, our... No, we didn't really... We were good. Technically, we're good. Thank you also to everybody yeah. that's been here since the heavy rain streams, uh, which you can watch on the channel. Um, you can see me, like, fail quick time events. You can see our stream lag out. You can see the microphones not be on. Uh, we did a lot of great things on that stream, and uh, there are five parts of that all on the channel. Um, but anyway, we had to do some practice streams before we got into this one because right now we are absolutely blowing up on Twitch. We have um, a new second place cheer leader, Nerdy H. Jatar Jarta. Thank you very much for your cheers, everybody for your subscription and bits. Thank you to Simple Gazer, especially for your donation. Uh, during the intermission break, we will put this towards some more cool prizes for everybody. And uh, Simple G Gazer, you are absolutely not alone. We love you very much, and you have a huge community here with you. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, thank you, everybody, also on this stream for being so positive, uh, for being just, like, overwhelmingly kind and supportive. The fact that uh, I, I don't know how many Twitch chats you can jump into and have everybody be so kind and so cool so uh thank you very much also i see this somebody's got a custom winking connor emote it might even be a brian winking emote which is pretty cool too and i see you underscore monster with the youtube channel oh, we yeah. will definitely have a youtube channel coming up i'm going to try to get that done in the next week uh, anybody that has been posting clips or videos of our stream here on youtube Feel free to do so. Just please, if you would, uh, link back to the channel so people can find us. And uh, let's draw a winner, shall we? Um, so quick reminder, we're going to do a winner right now of this uh, poster from the Detroit Become Human premiere event. And at the end of the stream today, we're going to give away the grand prize, which is a Detroit Become Human physical disc. This is the... Uh, cover reversed it's a reversible cover so you can put all three of the uh android protagonists on the on the front of the cover um this is signed by myself and amelia and uh, will be awarded at the end of the stream subscribers get five times entry into the contest rogbot are you ready with the algorithm yes i'm watching it actually no this isn't an algorithm one this is from yeah. the retweet on twitter and then we'll yeah. do one from the algorithm so stand cool. by algorithm so let me pull open this tweet here that everyone was going to Retweet, answer to win. It is, is the one about the emotes. Yes, it is the one about the emotes. So many tweets. Tweeting Here we up go. A storm. Cool. We had, just so everybody knows, 1,342 retweets on that with 550 comments in like. And, uh, well, maybe two, almost an hour and a half, basically. Yeah. Uh, no, two and a half hours. We've been streaming for quite some time. Um, thank you very much. So here we go. This is of the 
1,350 1, people. So if you win this, your odds are less than 0.01%. Is that right, Rog? Um, yeah. So you are a very lucky person indeed. Amelia, will hold this up for me? And our winner is, let me pull, it's going to take me a second to scroll open, so all of these uh, are equally available. Load some more. Oh, my God, there's so many. Here we go. And the winner is, drum roll in the chat, please. <laughs> Ding. Here we have it. The answer is Titianus Angel Smith. Your Twitter name is at C H. O N Y A L E E. Again, that's at C H O N Y A L E E. Go ahead and identify yourself in the chat. Congratulations. You are the winner of this excellent poster signed by everybody. I'm going to send you a message right now and say, let me know your address for the signed. We. What does it say? Have we passion. have passion protest poster from the Detroit Become Human premiere and uh, bada boom there you go you're the winner C-H-O-N-Y-A-L-E-E -E. nailed it Amelia is on it with the record keeping cool and then let's do a prize in the Twitch chat for intermission purposes also um, make sure that you guys are still sending me some questions I'm still looking for some to answer in a few minutes yes if you have any Q&A questions it's a good time to throw them into the chat and now let's do in the Twitch chat these are really cool um, so these were uh, let me see that little binder real quick Amelia by the way guys bear with us on the focus them holding stuff up auto focus that should be good yeah. Yeah. Um, so when we went to the Detroit Become Human premiere event there were these notebooks in our uh, rooms which say cyber life and um, this, the band says Cyber Life. The notebook does not. Um, I love notebooks, and you can't have my notebook. But you can have this here Cyber Life band, which is elastic. You can put it on your own notebook if you want. You can turn any notebook into a Cyber Life notebook. Like here's my uh, NYU Gallatin one. Shout out to NYU Tisch School of the Arts, where Rog and I both went to school. Um, and we are going to now make it a Cyber Life notebook which I think is pretty cool. Um, we can also do this. I put one on a bowl. So if you like dogs and you want your dog to have a cyber life bowl, you can add the, the autofocus is going to hate that shiny thing, but uh, I just, you can put it on anything um, and turn it into a cyber life thing, any cylinder type thing. It could be if you have a really, really big neck, uh, not a really no, big neck. Maybe you if you're really, a tiny if you had neck. a really thin, if you had a really thin neck, it could be maybe a necklace. Or if you had a really big wrist, it could be a bracelet. You can do whatever you want with it. I mean, I'll wear it like this. Uh, but anyway, Cyber Life Band. So let's let's give away uh, two of these. How many people do we have in the stream right now, Rog? Uh, we are looking at uh, 7,100. 7,100. All right. So of the 7,100 of you, we will give away two of these now so that we have some to give away on the other streams. So type anything nice and decent into the chat. You are eligible to win this in either the uh, stream chat or the subscriber room. Uh, as with all the other prizes, type something in, Rogbot, run the algorithm, type it in the next 15 seconds, and then we will pick a winner. Yeah, we've temporarily turned off slow mode. Just yeah, so slow we mode is off, so you can knock yourselves out typing in. On your mark, get set. So many people saying, I like dogs, 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 I like dogs. Good luck, everyone, I like dogs. I like Amelia. Hey, I like Amelia, too. Uh, let's do it. And okay. time. Rog, who Our are the winners? winner is uh, Ricky Knives. Ricky Knives. Congratulations. Is that Ricky with a Y? Yes. Rog, you'll send him a DM right now? Ricky yes, I can do that. Ricky cool. Knives, like a fork and knife? Yes. Yeah, so Ricky Knives, we are going to send this to you. Rog will send you a DM right now so you can let us know your address. Let's pull another one, Rog. Let's get another winner for the Cyber Life Band. Okay. And... We are running our little bot thing, and I've got it. So we're going to say congrats to Foxy Fly with a PH. Ooh, Foxy Fly. So fo Foxy like the uh, fox? Uh, P H O X I F L Y. Cool. Congratulations, Foxy Fly. Let's get a whole bunch of congrats in the chat. Congratulations. Let's see some crazy emotes if you've got them. Throw them up there for our winners. And remember that at the end of the stream today, at around 4, maybe 4.30, depending on how fast we play, we will give away this uh, signed copy of Detroit Become Human to one lucky winner. 
Cool. Should we get back to it? Or yeah. should we just, no, we're gonna do some questions real oh, quick, yeah, Rod. Can I have yeah. The water? Yeah. Everybody take a hydration. <laughs> hydration moment. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for the followers that have uh, come to join us. And uh, thank you to everyone who's donating. All those donations will be put together uh, to come up with prizes for everybody in the stream. And we'll keep giving prizes away every time because this community would not be nearly as awesome without all of you. Um, cool. Um, our first question, we'll get started on this, and I'll keep pulling more. Um, uh, from Nessa Rock, what did a uh, regular day on set look like? A regular day on set. Um, Amelia, you can jump in too if you want uh, for your experience. Um, the the first two days, they started things off a little slower, I think, than we would have otherwise. They gave us, um, this was for the hostage scene that we began filming, uh, which coincidentally was on my birthday, uh, March two years ago, uh, March 17th, if you have any other St. Patrick's Day babies out there. Um, the beginning was... I was overwhelmed with excitement because I was really excited about performance capture. Um, seeing Andy Serkis and the work he does, uh, performance capture for uh, movies and for video games, had gotten to such a level that uh, it felt like um, it felt like real theater the whole the whole time you were watching it. So for me, uh, I was really really excited to get to work on it. So the first time I put on the suit, uh, I was taking a bunch of pictures of the whole thing and the whole environment and uh, getting right to it. Um, and then when we started filming, there was nothing there. It was just me in a big gray room uh, with a grid on the ground. They said, the snipers are over here. There's a cop floating in the pool. There's uh, the hostage takers here. And I did all of that rooftop scene with David Cage as my scene partner. So um, uh, Benjamin, who play, or Ben, I think he just goes by Ben, who plays Daniel. Um, I've never met him in my entire life. I would like to meet him if he's watching the stream. He's welcome to come join us anytime. Uh, but a lot of the things that they can do with all this technology allow for the actors to be there at different times. And uh, this means that sometimes David Cage is your, your scene partner, being the hostage taker. So my first time on set was... Um, was yelling at David Cage all of these things. You know, hello, my name is, uh, or hi, Daniel, my name is Connor, all that stuff uh, is all with David Cage. When I went back and started filming, we had more scene partners because uh, the scheduling allowed for it. So with Cornelius, who you see in the interrogation scene, with Clancy Brown, with Simbi, with Amelia, all these actors were there on set with me. But sometimes that's just not the case. Uh, sometimes there's not... Um, there's not a scene partner with you. A lot of times there's no environment. Uh, so they tell you, you know, here between here and here is um, the, uh, you know, the doorway or the driveway or where you can, you know, don't walk here because you'd be standing on a desk or something. Um, but for the most part, the props are very simple. And there's some cool behind the scenes videos on the channel if you guys want to check them out. Um, I've posted as many behind the scenes uh, clips as I can find that are available uh, from PlayStation. And the day would go from, uh, my call time was to be there, I believe, at uh, 8, so that I would be able to film by 9. So I would get there, I requested an early time to be there at 7.30, so that I could get there while there were still uh, very few people on set. And I did um, a meditation, uh, stretching, um, I would kind of rehearse for myself uh, the different components of the, the scene for the day because we would shoot on a film and television set. You shoot maybe eight pages in a day if it's a really busy day. I mean, sometimes you shoot four pages in a day. And on this, we were shooting 30. Sometimes they were pushing for almost 40 pages on a day, which meant that there was so much material to do back to back to back. I had to be super, super off book for it. So in the beginning of the morning, uh, before I got into my mocap suit and everything, I would... Um, you know, stretch and uh, kind of ground myself. I sat right in the the motion capture set has a uh, grid. So I sat exactly in the middle of the grid to do my meditation and uh, come into alignment for Connor. And then we would do about an hour of getting into the Lycra suit where they have all the motion capture dots on it. They um, have a mask of my face, which is 3D printed from the scan. So it fits exactly which is kind of creepy, but they put it over your face and it has these uh, holes in it where they put with an uh, eyeliner pen 
where all of the 86 markers on your face go and then they take the mask off and they put with tweezers these tiny little reflectors which are connected, well, not, not connected to anything, but they're reflected into the LED, um, uh, not LED, infrared. Uh, the infrared cameras, there's 80-something cameras all around the volume, and then these cameras pick up all of the intimate motions of these uh, points on your face so they can get your um, expressions. The silly pictures you guys see of me making all these extreme faces, very, very big, very, very small, puffing out my cheeks, all this stuff is, oh, it's up on the screen. Um, so these, uh, <laughs> this is the suit. Uh, this is the, uh, the markers. They don't actually glow, but that's what happens when you take a picture with the flash. And um, the, uh, the, I took that picture on the first day of filming because I was so super excited about it. But we do a, a range of mo motion where we show, uh, basically it's like calisthenics uh, and facial expressions so that they can tell the computer these are the extreme in and out points for the data so that they know Connor making his biggest face this way is this way, Connor making his smallest face this way looks like this. And then in this way they can keep track of where all of these individual dots are and make sure that the markers are all checked into the computer. And then, uh, well, this is a long answer, but uh, <laughs> this is what a typical day is like. Um, we spent most of the, uh, the day filming. We'd shoot for the first half until maybe one o'clock for lunch. We'd shoot a bunch of scenes back to back to back. Then finally you'd, uh, have a little bit of a break because they have to do the same calibration stuff with your face and with your motion out of the suit before they can turn all of the motion capture, um, uh, computers and, and uh, system down and then you're free for lunch and then you come back and we do all of that again to calibrate the computers and then go into the second half of filming and then we'd film again until seven but sometimes it would go much later depending on what we were filming so our days were long our days were very very long and very very efficient that's the answer to that question thank you for asking <laughs> can, can you tell that i worked on this game for a long time and i'm super excited that now i can talk about it I, I think it's awesome. I, I think it's so cool that, you know, clearly you get to talk about it. Um, one question, I'll, I'm going to put up my uh, my favorite question. Cool. Can we pull that down so the stream labs are up? Yeah. Sorry to throw that at you. There we go. Cool. Oh, no worries. Look what you did, cartoonic. Right. Following right along. Um, this one's, uh, this is a great question. This is for both of you. Um from Holiday Spice, what do you value most about each other's acting as, as in Amelia and Brian? I admire about Amelia that she has a personal mission to play the positive in everything. So uh, a lot of the material, as you know, in Detroit Become Human is quite dark and quite heavy. And uh, Amelia has done a lot of cool things on, uh, you might know her from HBO's True Blood. She played Willa on the last two seasons of True Blood and also on MTV's Scream, um, which is obviously also very dark. Uh, and so I really, 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 uh, that's my favorite thing about working with Amelia. Amelia and I met on set and we've acted together a couple different times, but... Um, yeah, I think that's what I admire the most about your acting. My love. Mm. Don't say anything nice. I'm overwhelmed. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, um, one of the... Because since Brian and I met on set, that's how we, uh, we first started to get to know each other. And I... Not was, on this set, correct? No, no, no. We, we worked on a film called Commencement together. And that we shot, what, like... Seven years ago or something like Seven that? Seven years ago. And we're about to get married in June. <laughs> so since meeting on this movie, we played Boyfriend, Girlfriend. And you can uh, look up Commencement, the movie, if you want to watch something with Amelia and I in it together. That's uh, the film we fell in love on. <laughs> um, but Brian is an incredibly generous scene partner. He, uh, I felt so taken care of by him and... Um, yeah, it's just it's just so generous and giving and um, wants to make sure that you have everything you need, that he's giving you everything that you need, and uh, also is just very prepared, exceptionally prepared, because Brian had so many lines to learn on this, and the fact that he memorized all of his lines just helped everybody because they were able to move so quickly. And uh, so, yeah, his generosity and his preparedness. Oh, jeez. Thanks, my love. And what do we admire most about Rog, you say? What? We like Rog's <laughs> uh, basic demeanor, his beautiful smile, his Aww. flow, 
He's got some beautiful got hair. Yeah. If you've ever wondered to yourself, how yeah. do I get my hair like Brian's? Cut it out and start talking about Rog's hair. Start tweeting at Rog asking about Rog's conditioner and shampoo. We got to get mm. you a. Uh, it's a complicated regimen. We don't have time <laughs> for that here. Okay. All right. Um, also, uh, maybe let's do one more cue and then back into the game. Or, yeah. Um, Thank you also to uh, Riff Ninja with the donation, uh, saying that you're looking forward to everything in the game, and we appreciate you donating. Uh, do you think there are any similarities between yourself and Connor? I think that the... Uh, yeah. yeah. I know uh, that's a tough one, but I, that's kind of on purpose. I'm here to challenge uh, you. I think that besides, you know, sort of like he has my exact likeness, which kind of trips me out <laughs> watching this... Um, I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, that's, that's the tough thing. A lot of you guys keep asking, I've asked a lot of questions about what his favorite scene is and are all of these things, and I feel like a lot of these are things that we can't really discuss till the end. Yeah, um, I, th I think that the, the best way to put it is that... Uh, task completion? I love task completion, which is driving me nuts. You guys sending me these DMs on Twitter and on Instagram and on Twitch and on Facebook, and I can't live in a world where I don't cross everything off the list, and so... I have to, have to reply to each and every single one of you, but it's going to take me more and more time because each time I reply to one, there's more, and that feels really good. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Like, 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 besides the fact that we're here and we're streaming and there's cameras and the whole thing, but like, thank you to each and every one of you that has been sending me these kind messages and, and, and saying positive things about the game online and sharing it with your friends because so much heart went into this game. There are people that have worked on this game. There's 200 people at Quantic Dream that worked on this game. Um, besides the fact that Valerie Curry started working on this game over eight years ago with the Kara Tech demo and it was the players that, that were so excited about that demo that even instigated Detroit Become Human to become a thing so that they could tell the rest of Kara's story so that Connor could even be a character in that story. And the fact that over the last week, I mean, I've gone from like, I, I don't want to use numbers because it's not about numbers, but like I've gone from like, you know, checking Twitter and being like, okay, okay, and then back to my regular life to now it's like literally I'm surrounded all the time with positivity and love and I just, it feels so good. So, well, I, you know, I, you. I just want to <laughs> elaborate on Brian because why not? Um, no, I mean, I just think it's cool. Uh, I think everyone knows how much work Brian is putting into this and both staying up with your fans and both staying into everything else. But, you know, we see that a lot out here and I don't know many people in the industry or who work on stuff like this who do what Brian is doing. Hey, but so. you know what, Rog? I, I appreciate the compliment. It's nice. But what I want to throw back is that, like, Cyborg Angel, Ruby True, Not a Bot, yeah. you, all of the people on Twitch that have been so welcoming to me and to teach me about how this is, like, really a community thing. This isn't just, like, streaming a video and putting it on the Internet and seeing what happens. This is, like, a legitimate community with real people that are, like making this a part of their lives and like sharing their experience. And, and I have been jumping into people's Twitch streams and watching other people play this game uh, and seeing all of their outcomes up until, of course, the part where all the spoilers kick in for me. But uh, that is really, really cool. So let's, let's uh, roll out with that. Can we do that? Because yeah, now, now I'm feeling like, even though I'm playing this super... Hashtag uh, compliment fight. Compliment fight. Yeah, <laughs> everybody in the chat, pick somebody else in the chat to send a compliment to. Yeah. If you've been, if let's you've start been, a battle royale yeah, of yeah, compliments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you can out compliment that. somebody else, if there's somebody in the Connor army that you are friends with, that you uh, have been messaging with, or there's people guys, people are showing up in the Twitch stream when the Twitch stream is completely off, and they're chatting and hanging out with each other and, and making friends. So that is cool to me. That is what the Connor Army is all about. Real quick, before we cut back to the game, there's one thing that I wanted to share with you because uh, this video we can't skip. Oh, uh, yes. So I want to see this. This is really good. Uh, I hope the audio works. I was, we did a stream, so all of these streams are going to be re-aired for other time zones on Saturdays in the middle of the night. Uh, well, for me, in the middle of the night, for 8 p.m., Thank you, my love. If it's sagging off, guys, I'm sorry. You'll have to just believe me that I'm an Android right now. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I was I was up in the middle of the night, and uh, I wanted to be there at the beginning of the stream, and I wanted to be there at the end of the stream to tell everybody thank you for joining. And I did, which meant that I was up at like 3.30 in the morning, and then I woke up again at 7 in the morning. And people, on the, I thought everyone's going to be like, hey, he's here, that's cool. But they all were like, go to bed. Wait, was this last night? This was before we went on the hike. So anyway... 
Um, not last, not, okay, not, not, okay. This, not this recent last night, right, the, right, the, right. the night before that. Um, anyway, I'm sneaking out of bed to get onto Twitch, guys. It's become a problem. I'm twitching out. Uh, anyway, everyone told me to go take a break and to go for a uh, rest and relaxation day. So I took a day off of Twitter and I took a day off of Twitch. I took a day off of Instagram. I went for a hike and Rog has a little video because I, this is my thank you to you guys. Uh, the, to answer the other part of the previous question, the biggest difference between Connor and I and something that Connor helped me with uh, is that uh, I wouldn't really call myself super brave. And uh, when I were working on, on Detroit Become Human as Connor and Clancy Brown was grabbing me by the collar and holding me up and yelling in my face and I had to be a tough guy back to him, uh, it kind of like helped me... Uh, check in with something and doing all this badass stuff that Connor does. Um, you know, it made me feel some type of way. Right. And shout out to Jean Charles, who is Connor's, uh, in a lot of the stunts sequences where there's wire work and where there's like super, uh, complicated tech, nice uh, guy. maneuvers. Jean Charles is an, a fantastic, uh, uh, stunt actor. Um, he's been in mission impossible five, uh, among many other things. We have his Instagram, please throw it up into the um, chat, but he plays Connor for the sake of the things that insurance will not allow me to do. And, uh, he and I bonded in a way over Connor and you guys have seen Connor do a lot of things and I want to show you this video. All right, Rog, hit the, hit the video. So we went for a nice hike. This is some iPhone footage. I, I was uh, completely without signal, so I was not tweeting back at you. I was in a deprivation tank of technology. But because I uh, am a photographer, this is not really my photography work, but I just really like recording and uh, sharing things. So uh, I took some videos to show you guys my hike. And um, we walk through the water and the stream. And this is on a hike to a place called the Bridge to Nowhere. And the Bridge to Nowhere, besides being a level in Crash Bandicoot, um, or is it Road to Nowhere? I think there's a Bridge to Nowhere, too. Um, uh, so my friend Andrews Landsman, uh, my dear... Of Andrews who did. An okay. yeah. uh, my, my dear uh, buddy Logan, Melissa, and Amelia and I went on this hike uh, to this thing called the Bridge to Nowhere, which is in uh, the Angeles National Forest in Los Angeles. And, um, well, just north of Los Angeles. And the, uh, the hike was extremely hot. <laughs> we probably should have had Hydrate Bot with us to remind us to have more water. And uh, these are, um, those are agave, uh, which I'm a big fan of. And in any case, we found this bridge. We arrived on it. Here's the view from the bridge. And um, there was a bunch of people up on the bridge when we arrived. We were relieved that there was shade and water. There's my buddy Andrews. Here's the bridge. Um, and it's a bridge that doesn't have a beginning or an end. They started building it, and then the roads on either side were not used. But people were up here bungee jumping off it. And so uh, basically um, I decided to do it after a couple of my friends survived. And uh, this is uh, for you guys. <laughs> we got it from a couple different angles. This is me jumping off a perfectly good bridge and swinging back up. <laughs> I had so much fun doing this, but you guys have I'm seen. <laughs> just jumped off a bridge to nowhere, and uh, that was for you, Jean Charles. And, whoa! This I is, can't uh, even hear it. But... For myself, and if I share it with anyone later, no cool. Idea. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, you can't hear it. I They'll hear it. They're hearing it. The bridge to nowhere, which is this. And people are bungee jumping, and I thought. I'm gonna do that after two of my friends survived. So if you ever want to bungee jump, come to the bridge to nowhere in uh, the Angeles National Forest, I believe we are. That was incredible. Anyway, that's that. Uh, but that's a shout out to you guys because I just thought to myself in the moment, uh, I should probably jump off this bridge because I think people on Twitch would like it. No, no I saw, <laughs> I saw so many people. So in the demo, uh, specifically when Connor runs to save the little girl, uh, Connor falls back with his arms open and closes his eyes and does this sacrifice self to save the little girl. And there's a, a good number of times, we're going to lose that. Uh, there's a good number of times in this game where Connor is 
somewhere high up and falling off. And I did that like on the ground, uh, but I never did that um, falling off or jumping off anything. And and uh, after Amelia kind of uh, didn't uh, stop me, um, I had to do that. Anyway, that's for you. Uh, hope you enjoy. But um, if, if there's anything in your life right now that you're thinking like, I don't know, I'm not brave enough or I, I'm scared to do that, uh, go do it. Should we play I some, ain't doing it. Let's do some Detroit Become Human. Thank you, everybody, for uh, cheering all the donations and uh, the subscriptions. Very cool. Using the Amazon Prime. Right on. Should we revive the fire and check it on Alice? Let's check, check on Alice. Yeah, let's check on Alice. She's Let's find some firewood. Hmm. We go upstairs, maybe? See if we can find some clothes. This is really cool. I know nothing about this part of the story. Just so you guys know. I have no clue what we're getting into. jacket. Ralph? I don't want to look in there. Oh, here's a good one for the chat. What are we doing, Amelia? 
Do you have, I know you have a point of view about this. I mean, I think black could be cool. Let's check it out. Or white. Whoa. That's cool. Do you want to try white just to see what it looks like? Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's get a poll in the chat, and we'll see what everybody chooses. White's cool. Yeah, white. Black. I don't feel like white's not very, like, uh, inconspicuous, though. No. Hmm. Blonde is... They're all pretty. I she, mean... She could rock any of those hairstyles. Is brown what we started with, though? Yeah, so... We want to change more. We want to, we want to hide ourselves. Okay, then maybe... Rog, what do you think? Do you have a point of view about our hair color? People are saying black and white. That's the most... Uh, black and white? Black, yeah. Sorry. DMing. <laughs> no, it's good. Let's go with black. Yeah. All right. Thank you, chat. Oh, we got to pull this thing out. In solidarity, we've we've removed ours. Okay, you're gonna check to see what's in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Ah! What? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe that's the one who, who hurt this? him. This is his owner? Ralph did that? Uh-oh. The boy's right. in blue. That's all for now. Ready to go. This is cool. This is when the storyline starts overlapping. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? Hey, Hamuel57, thank no you for the gift subs. Just standing in the heavy rain. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned, it was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear, deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, God. Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Good for her. A present to make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Rap will cook. Still alive? We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> Come. That is a huge Come, rat. Sit down. Is it a I don't think that's possum? a rat. Yeah. Uh, hey, chat. What do we do? Do we eat this? She's, she wants. She should eat something. I want to refuse. I don't want to eat that. That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go. Yeah, the police are outside. <laughs> no, you, you will go once the little girl is eaten. Uh, we will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, tell me to sit in the, chat. And the little girl. Yeah, sit, sit. <sighs> okay. okay, we'll sit. We'll sit. We just hope no one recognizes us. That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse. Would it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Secret. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Is anybody in here eating a rat? Father, mother, little girl. Please, Cara. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? Why? Why? Uh, she said she doesn't want to eat the rat, but we're going to lie. She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. 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 
succulent word choice of the day. Go ahead. Eat. Like that? No ketchup? Mustard. <laughs> Eat it, Alice. Eat that rat. Oh, God. We are running from the police right now. What? Ask, Ask about, about the corpse? corpse? Yeah. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? That's okay, though. No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. I don't believe you, Ralph. Insist about the corpse? Family? It'd be nice to him? Family? Maybe? Yeah, family. You said you wanted to be like a family. Ralph? Yeah, he reminds Father, me of Smeagol, too. Mother. The little girl, remember? Father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. Mm -mm. Yeah, set that down, Ralph. Ralph led to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. But Ralph is not bad. No, not bad. Then let us go. Anybody home? I know that voice. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Boom. Let's go. Oh, God. I'm feeling a little conflicted real quick. Because as Connor, I want to catch Kara. And as Kara, I do not want to be caught. Don't, don't get, don't caught, don't. Always go for Connor. Yeah, helps when Connor. in doubt, favor Connor. It's kind of the right thing to do. All right, let's find this. What, how does the chat feel about that? People are saying they're real conflicted, real tense. Real conflicted, tense, go away, go Connor. Go Connor, just go with the flow. All right, they'll be okay with it. Let's see what we can find. What is the hair town? I know about this. Clip, clip, came right through. I can't promise what's gonna happen. Peep must peep. Yeah, definitely inside. All right, I have a sneaking suspicion we're gonna need to move quickly. Hello, Ralph. I know a lot of things about you. Listen to Hank as the consensus. Processing LED. Probability of self-destruct is moderate. WR600, he's a gardener. He's reported missing. Burn mark. Irreversible skin damage caused by extreme heat. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Really, Ralph? What do we do, guys? They're saying be nice to him. Let's yeah. reassure him. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, let's ask. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Yeah. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. The android's telling the truth. She didn't go upstairs. Ask about the deviants. Are there any other androids here? 
Other entrance. No. Ralph is alone. Now, let's check in here. Why'd you close this door, Ralph? RA9. Obsessional writing. to him, his stress level goes up. Yeah. The table's set for three people. Androids don't eat. Wire cutters. Yeah. Connor, what the hell are you doing in there? Uh, just hanging out, Hank. Coming, Lieutenant! Yeah, we're done in here with him. Great scan one more time. I mean, it's not the pinball machine, and we don't need the fireplaces burning, but that's not a clue. Let's get out. Let's go back to Hank. Okay. Right? Sure. I mean, it's not... Yeah, we got this. I'm afraid to look at the chat right now because I have a feeling somebody's going to tell me something. Androids don't need heat. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a little girl in here with you, Ralph. And you're playing old school video games. It runs about them stairs. To go upstairs more? Yeah, that's the that's the word on the chat. All right, this is for you, chat. We're gonna go upstairs if we can. No, it's not letting me go upstairs because we just turned around from upstairs. <laughs> I think we can go outside. The level of stress of the deviant is way low. Do I need I need to keep stressing him out? I can't say anything else to him. Oh, this is stressing me out. Here, Android, Android, Android. Where is she hiding? Is she behind the mirror? There's nowhere in here. Down? Run quick, Kara! <gasps> Yo. Connor, what's going on? It's here! Call it in! Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Go, Connor, go. Got it. Let's go. Train station? Go. This music. Run. This poor man's telling you where to go. It's because we're young. They're over there. Yes, sir. Very cool run there, Brian. What's up? Very cool run. Thanks, man. Like Tom Cruise. That's goes. me running. That's actually me. Hey, Kara. Don't shoot! We need it alive! Ah. Whoa, that's cool! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, fuck! That's insane! Oh, shit, we gotta go? Fuck, let's go. Come on, Alice. <laughs> Jesus. Ah! <laughs> Can you stop screaming over my shoulder? Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. Oh, they won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Fuck, what do not do? go what after him, Connor. That's an order. That's an order. Oh, come on. Sure you do hang. it. I'm not going.
Get out of here, Kara. Get out of here. Are you okay? I couldn't do it. I was not getting to that. I was. This is a whole investigation. We don't. We don't have to. Uh... Yo, cool. That was insane. Whoa. You all right, Amelia Rose? Yeah, no, I, I was afraid. Jeez, there, if you've never played this video game with Amelia, right here, sort of like <laughs> screaming over your shoulder. Uh, Hashtag whoa. hugs for Amelia is trending. Just so you know. Hugs for Amelia, hugs for Amelia. Very good. <laughs> hugs to everybody, group hug in the chat. Group um, hug. Whoa. All right, so I had to not, I wasn't gonna. Oh, this is tricky now, see. I knew that the characters' storylines were going to overlap, but I didn't know that so early in this. Wow, whoa, whoa, look at all this. Whoa. Wow. Holy cow. All right, so this is, we probably had three, this is from the three different places we yeah, could have so stayed. Yeah, so if you had squatted someplace else, which, uh, by the way, I think it's a really funny word. <laughs> Great. Great. You all had to check the, the, the mature box to get in here so that you could deal with all this comedy. <laughs> Uh, so we chose black hair, which was, that was a general consensus in the chat, but very divided on the hair color. So uh, everybody forgive me if you wanted a different hair color. We invest, Connor investigates the squat. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Connor pursues Kara, of course. But we had to let her go. I wasn't about to, I mean, I got to let Kara do her thing. Kara's... Kara's not, yeah. uh, but I'm supposed if, to catch. But the you know deviants. what? If you had caught Kara, then she would have had. She would have been put in jail. She would have been disassembled. Alice would have gone. Probably. I know, but I'm designed home, but to hunt okay. them. It's okay. I'm feeling a little conflicted, Rog. It's it's a tough. You made tough choices, but it's I think a lot to deal with. Should we play one more chapter? Are you guys with it for one more? Rog, how you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm I'm fine, but it's it, yeah, it's a 4:15. I definitely it's getting late, so we can't do more than one more. Got it. We'll do one more uh, chapter if the stream is down for it, and if not, we'll pause here and draw the winner for this uh, signed copy of Detroit Become Human. Physical. Let's see. Let's double check. People are saying yes, yes, yes. One more. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. All right. We'll go for one more, and then we are going to draw a winner for the grand prize of this here Detroit Become Human. Signed by us. Yes, thank you guys for being so down. This is really starting to mess with me because I like Kara, but I'm supposed to stop her. Moral conundrums. Oh, my God. I have a feeling that by letting her go, you'll meet her in a better way, maybe, in the future. I hope. I like where your head's at. This is, this is a great positivity one. I, I think We're trying to stay positive. This is a very positive playthrough. I think that, you know... We'll get evil another time. Yeah, we'll be okay. Uh, real quick shout out also uh, for anybody who's joining real quick. This is from PlayStation Japan who sent us the premium edition of Detroit Become Human, uh, which we're going to keep on the stream through the next four streams every day, on, every time on Sunday at 1 p.m. Uh, we Pacific Standard Time, whatever time it started today for you is when we'll begin. And we're going to get this signed by as many people from Detroit Become Human as possible and give it away as the grand prize on our final of this Detroit Become Human playthrough, but of the fifth of these uh, playthroughs, we're going to give away as a grand prize this premium edition from Autofocus. Well, I shouldn't hold that up ever again. Um, Rog's going to help us out yeah, with that. Yeah, i fix that. Um, but... I feel like Marcus. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. Does anybody have an optical unit I can borrow? Shout out to everybody in the chat that's wearing glasses right now or contact lenses. Anybody with imperfect vision? Let's get into this. And also, uh, everybody subscribing and using your Amazon Prime. Thank you so much. We got Funny Mal uh, Mena Alvarez, uh, Vinscape, Bunsenti, uh, M1H. There's so many of you. I would list them all day, but we would run out of time. Um, thank you guys all for subscribing. If you want to use your Amazon Prime, you can connect it for a free subscription on Twitch. Here we go. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer.
Ferndale. This place will be in the free. Find Jericho. Real quick fun fact. Cameron K. Lewis, the illustrator I mentioned before at www.cameronklewis.com. We'll throw his uh, stuff into the chat. He is from Ferndale, grew up in Ferndale, and he uh, and I met in Michigan, went to high school together, and he's designing all of our emotes. So just a little fun fact came to mind. That's cool. There's some graffiti. What do you say? Please. Is that the same as what we've got? This is cool. So we gotta find a yellow lion there. Orange lion. Look at the skyline. There's the GM towers out there. You can watch on the channel, we have a tour of Detroit uh, that we did for the premiere event where they showed a bunch of different uh, locations in real life. They modeled the entire city of Detroit, so this is a projection of what it would look like in 20 years. I don't see any graffiti out here. I like your point. Should I go that way, you think? Good. jacket too not as much as your jeans yo look in the hood yeah, of this jacket too is really this is a cool. yeah quick reminder anybody who's got uh detroit become human cosplay come meet up with us at e3 on june 14th we're gonna have a chondro chondroid huh, maybe a connor army assemble we'll take a big group picture together yellow lion orange lion Ah, is this Joe Lewis? I know. Yes, sir. I'm seeing a reminder to hydrate in the sub chat, Amelia. What is it again? Multicolored rainbows. Happy Pride Month. Mm. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'll hydrate. I can't cross the street until it's green. I gotta cross over here. We have the light. Can we call it the Hug Army instead? The Hug Army? Yeah. I don't know. The, kind of Connor army the Connor sounds Army sounds <laughs> way cooler than the Hug Army. We can hug in the Connor Army, but we can't be the Hug Army. Right, yeah. right. Connor's Hug Army. I, I didn't want to take Con that. <laughs> <laughs> Where, uh, here you go. Robots. Rog asked me earlier during the intermission break if we could do a question about AI and uh, androids, and I said, I think that would probably take me an entire stream to do, so maybe we will schedule a robots versus androids versus... Oh, here they are. Oh, I'm all about uh, that. You know, robots versus androids versus cyborgs. Know your, know your technological beings. Could have clips of famous There's androids. Great books out there. Some great books. Absolutely, man. Well, we could do a whole... I mean, there's a bunch of different androids that have influenced uh, Connor.
I want to know who Mark, oh, not Marcus. I want to know who Jesse Williams' favorite android and and who's Valerie Curry's favorite android, like in previous works. Subscriber chat says, Amelia, if you're reading, that you're wonderful and they love you. Oh, thank you so much. She's taken, though, just so y'all know. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. I think I've, t I've seen this building in real life before. With that? Graffiti? With this graffiti. I think I've taken a picture of this. Hold on, let's go find out. Maybe, or not, maybe it's just something very similar, but... Yeah, this. I recognize this this woman's profile. Why do I know this? If I find it, I'll put it up on Instagram. But I think I, I went around Detroit and did it um, with my camera and just took some photos of the city. I think I took a picture of this graffiti. Need one more? Yeah, you have to get to the roof, maybe. Find a way to reach the roof. The roof. What are we gonna do? We're gonna pull an Uncharted? Yes, we are. Shout out to my Uncharted fans. I feel like this happens a couple of times in that game. <laughs> Hashtag steal Amelia. Good luck. <laughs> Reconstruct. Yes, this is cool. Oh, right on. So this is this is Marcus's version of the um, analysis thing that Connor can do, but his is much more uh, kinetic. Would be too unstable. That's so cool. Nice. Yeah. Not doing it that way. Let's go up here. It's Rog single. Is Rog single? I don't know. Rog, are you single? What have you started? What have you done? <laughs> uh, hey, so... Someone asked. So, just so everybody knows, while we do this super cool jump with Marcus, Rog is single. <laughs> yes, I am stealable. I guess let's let's divert some attention from Amelia and say I'm stealable. Rog is... Bef I mean, he's not only single, he's eligible. He's <laughs> handsome. He's charismatic. He's got great choice in friends. <laughs> All right. Over here. Yeah, hashtag steal rog. Let's get the rog army going. We need like There's Sparkle City. Yeah. Um Lighting effects, like I, I almost like forget to be blown away by this game because it all looks so good. That'll do. Nope. Gonna have to parkour. Right? Where is the option? There it is. This is cool. Not too high. Nice. 
This is cool. So he's just got to figure out how to do it, and then he's an android. He's so proficient that we just go boom. Hey, thank you, good night for the for the donation. Zero one three Kashiba, thank you as well. Like look at the light in here. Like it's this looks like a film. What? Oh We gotta stand in just the right place for it? Brimelia just started, by the way. Thought you guys should. Brimelia? I can live with Brimelia. Yeah. Brimelian? Yeah, no. Brimelia is better than that. Yeah, we talked about Brimelia as a, maybe for a wedding hashtag because people do. Um, oh, yeah. Can so we share can this? Help is us it? come up with a wedding we, hashtag. Well, let's do the one we can. I mean, the one we came up with is good. Do you, can we do it? Can sure. we tell them what that is? Are yeah. you okay with? If you guys want to follow along our our wedding hashtag, which we're gonna have people. Um, Post about, uh, at our wedding, post photos and stuff. Um, it is common, I guess, sometimes to have a hashtag. So, that, what are we looking for? Is that the, the rock through the hallway? Um, to have a hashtag so that everybody who's taking photos can share the pictures with you. So, we were looking at hashtags. What should the option be? We said um, Brimelia was an option, but we got a little more clever with it since we both worked on the game together. We thought we'd include our names in a different way and do hashtag Amelia become Deckhart. I think it's pretty good. Am I gonna stream it? I'm gonna stream it. You are not gonna stream it. <laughs> I'm not gonna stream our wedding. But That's you guys, can, uh, Rog is gonna be at our wedding. He will be the day of coordinator, in fact, doing his Rog bot duties. Whoa! Oh, 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 fuck yes. This makes my dad's text make a lot more sense. <laughs> I got a text from my dad that was like, the fucking bridge to Jericho. <laughs> So close. Oh man, if we didn't talk through that, we would have. Could we have made it across there? I don't know. Probably not. It didn't um, look very stable. Didn't look very stable. Look at this heroic lighting. All right, we got to find another way across there. But yeah, Rog will be at the wedding. Rog will not be streaming our wedding <laughs> because it's an intimate family moment. But if you want to follow along the hashtag, you can see the pictures people post. Yeah, yeah. We'll make sure. Um, we'll make sure there's a, a photo. And we, you know, we have a photographer and videographer and stuff who are going to come. And uh, you're going to be wearing the LEDs on your heads, right? No, we're not wearing the LEDs. Got to find another way. All right. Gotta go up to go down. Hey, Borussia, the wedding is in June. We're getting married on June 30th. So we are less than, less than a month away. <laughs> Hashtag hug rog. I mean, I can go, can you go over there and hug rog real quick? I think we should probably cut the chatter and get to the serious business here. Follow the trail, find another way of the boat. We're going up and over. Look at this. Anyone oh, else in here afraid of heights? Because I would not be able to do this. Yeah, should we, bungee, should we bungee jump from here? You ready for this? Because I am. Yeah, bungee. For luck. Here we go. A 
I thought for a second we were gonna get a uh, a Leia in Episode Eight moment. A, for a force flying or the end of the Matrix where he swoops back up. Yeah, Marcus knows no fear. Yeah, Sam Chagall says it's like Assassin's Creed. Oh, he did lose his jacket. We lost our jacket. Dude, dude, this reminds me of Heavy Rain 2 and we're in the power plant. We came in there now. No. Sure, sure, so. Stuck. I see you with those fish suit comments. There will not be. Hold on. <laughs> the fish suit will happen. Stop the press. At one million Twitch followers, I'll wear a fish suit. But one that I will select and find for him. One that Rog will select and find. However, yes. at my wedding, I will not wear a fish oh suit. Oh, God. Can you imagine? <laughs> Connor, army, fall in line. <laughs> Actually, I was about to officiate a wedding. I'm officiating a wedding later this year, too. Uh, you guys know him. And uh, they almost made me do it in a dinosaur costume. That, that would have been serious good. Consideration. Yo, if Rog wears a dinosaur costume to the wedding, he can stream it. <laughs> <laughs> Did we, we came in here. All right. Let's go the other way. What about a fish tie? Maybe. All right, we don't want this. There's nothing here for us. Wall. This is, this is how I played a lot of video games growing up. Just kind of walking into walls. Yeah. Can we go up? No, we gotta go through. We are deviant, they say. <laughs> fish cufflinks? I could I would I could maybe wear some fish cufflinks to the wedding. Our our uh, style for the wedding, our dress code is semi formal whimsy. And I feel like fish cufflinks are whimsical. Something blue. Something old, something new, something Detroit become human. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Something borrowed, something blue, something old, something fish? New. This is... Uh... I started playing The Last of Us, like, right before all this Detroit Become Human stuff really started blowing up. And I had to pause it, but I was real scared of those guys. Those fungus zombie dudes. But we'll definitely play Last of Us on the stream. We cannot miss that one. <laughs> Yeah, the clickers. The clickers scared me so much. And it's so dark. And Amelia didn't like that because it was too scary, so I'd only play it when I was alone. hanging out? Daniel? Welcome to Jericho. What? Whoa. Ooh. We made it. Whoa, cool. 
That's Daniel. Well, not Daniel, but that's that's a, a Daniel modeled Android. This is cool. This is a lot of fun. This is. So we could have not made it. We could have not made it. Like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I think my dad was under the impression that the bridge breaking was just his own experience, but. JD, if you're watching the stream right now, uh, Dad Droid is still very much a thing, and people refer to you as Dad Droid. <laughs> if you guys want to see my family play the Detroit Become a Human uh, demo, the first scene when we were back in Michigan to see them, uh, we did a, uh, a Twitch stream, a real low-tech Twitch stream uh, from my phone. But my mom, my brother, and my dad, who they dubbed Dad Droid, uh, all played the hostage demo and got very different outcomes and it was really really surprising to me uh how it all turned out yeah i don't want to spoil it for you but if you're interested in that kind of thing check it out on the channel inside the boat cool meet the people of jericho awesome really cool stuff very very cool i think that should be our last chapter because we're going over a little bit on time and i want yes. to make sure we respect everybody's time but uh i think without further ado we should do our grand prize drawing for this yes. uh detroit become human Signed, and the fun fact for everybody that there's a reversible cover um, to the game. So if you pull out the cover and flip it around, you can have all three of the protagonists on the cover. This is signed by Amelia and myself uh, at the end of our playthrough of This Detroit Become Human on the uh, June 23rd stream. We'll give away the premium edition signed by as many people as we can get. Um, and uh, Rogbot, are you ready in the chat for yes. an algorithm? So we should do a trivia question because this is a rather big question a rather big prize okay yeah. um we need a question that we haven't answered before hey hamol 57 again with the gift subs thank you so much for uh giving these gift subscriptions that's a really cool thing that you can do on twitch uh if there's somebody that you want to help out and get them a subscription you can you can gift a sub also a little shout out to nerdy uh Huerta, who uh did a cheer of uh is our second Oh, nerdy uh, H. Jarta. Welcome to the second position. And uh, everybody who has been donating and cheering, following and subscribing, um, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so if you want to enter, uh, this is the last chance for this stream, in any case, to uh, subscribe. So the subscriptures, the subscriptures, the subscribers have five times entry in the algorithm, but everybody who's here in the chat is eligible to win. You will write a answer to the trivia question into the stream. And uh, here's a good question. Uh, in one Wait, of the scenes. Yeah, before, you, before you ask the question, Brian, can, sure. you, can, can we give it out on camera one? Oh, yeah, we didn't use camera one at all. Real quick, one, two, three. Hey, hey camera one. <laughs> How you doing? We miss you. We haven't seen you in a while. We're uh, definitely giving out this prize on camera one. Oh, we're going to give out this prize on camera one right here. Um, so, camera one, we're, we're going to turn to you when we reveal our um, winner. Our winner. Um, so Is we, my love for camera one unhealthy? It might be. Sorry, guys. Anyway, let's go on. I don't know. It's fun to have multiple cameras. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um Okay, trivia question. So the way this works, you'll answer a question into the chat. If the random generator lands on you and you get the incorrect answer, we're going to generate it again and get somebody else. And with this prize, you are eligible to win, even if you've won previously a postcard or something on the stream. Um, however, with the larger prizes, if once you win one of these, and if you were to win again in the future, just so we've said it and it's on the record, uh, if you win a, a second prize, you get to choose who you gift it to and we'll send it to them. Uh, their username instead, because we can't uh -huh. we can't know if the stream uh, algorithm is going to repeat itself. Um, so, trivia question. Uh, here's a good one. This is a trivia question. Um, this is a little tricky. So, um, you might have to be very fast on the internet to get this. So, Rog, do you have a timer? Or Amelia can set a timer. Yeah. So, the trivia question is. One minute timer on the clock. Let's do one. Let's do one minute. So if you're really fast at Googling, you can do it. But if you're a Quantic Dream super fan, you can also Should enter the chat. Begin when you ask or right after. At the end of the question, I'll say go. All right. Anybody not ready? Get ready. The trivia question to win this game is: Quantic Dream is the name of the studio that produced Detroit Become Human, along with uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, Prophecy, which no Fahrenheit or Indigo Prophecy, uh, Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rain, and Omnicron, they are located in Paris on which street? Go. 
they're going to have to tell me this. Yep. So I'm looking for, if you get the full address, that's a little creepy, but uh, we're looking for the name of the street in Paris where Quantic Dream is located. I see a lot of people telling me 2012. We're not looking for a year. We're looking for a name of the street in Paris. How are we doing on the timer? We have 20 more seconds. Mm-hmm. Rog, get ready to stop the chat. I'm looking fast. 10 more seconds. Rogbot standing by. And time. Time. All right. Great. Cool, cool, cool. Everybody, uh, thank you for entering. If you've replied before this, you are eligible to win. And Rogbot will now, let's go ahead and. Camera one. Yep. We're going to go to camera one. Do you have a winner, Rog? Yeah. The winner is Synth Stars. Synth Synth Stars. Stars. Congratulations. You are the winner here. Thank you very much for joining us. Let's get a lot of hype. Let's see those emotes hype, hype, hype. in the chat to you, my friend. Thank you very much. The correct answer is Boulevard uh, Davo. Yeah, I've got a. I've and that is it. in I'm Paris, France. Right Thank you very much for uh, playing, for joining us today on the stream. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. If you want to subscribe so that you can get into the subscriber chat for the next stream, we're still on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, Rob, can we go back to camera two? Because it's a little weird to look over here all the time. No worries. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. What up? Um, there we go. Uh, we are going to do another stream on Sunday, which is the 10th, June 10th at 1 p.m. The same start uh, Pacific Standard Time at the same start time that you watch today is when the stream will begin next Sunday. Same time, same place. If you uh, or anybody missed part of the stream and you would like to watch it, it's, of course, available on the channel. We're about to set up a YouTube uh, page. Um, there is a rerun that's going to come of this stream on Saturday, which is going to be at 8 p.m. Tokyo time, uh, 9 p.m. in Sydney, and you can calculate from there on Saturday. The chat will be live along with the rerun and the chance to win the other signed magazine. And um, one last thing, very cool uh, contest that Guillaume has started at Quantic Dream. They're doing a fan edit contest. If you edit your own trailer using the song that's posted on Quantic Dream and Detroit Become Human's uh, Twitter page, you can enter to win that mask I was talking about in intermission, the 3D print of Connor. It's my, I mean, it's of me. It's a 3D print of my face, which is a little creepy that they've chosen to give it as a prize. But It's up on the screen now. It's right up there on the screen. So I'm going to have to embrace the fact that they're giving this away as a prize to whoever wins this contest. So if you are uh, at all excited about editing, you can take any of the footage from the game. Uh, there's a soundtrack remix of Connor's theme that you use to uh, edit with and um, go ahead and uh, submit before the 6th. Last thing is that tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are going to do a voice chat for crossing over 25,000 followers and uh, on Twitch. And let's see what we're at right now because I've just got to know. We've made it to 31,823 followers on Twitch. Guys, wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you so much for following and subscribing. The, uh, we were at 3,000 followers at the beginning of our last stream on Sunday one week ago. We have multiplied the Connor army by 10 times in one week. You've fish absolutely defi- fish defied suit. fish suit, fish suit. I'm just going to chant. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> hashtag steal rog. Rog is single. Tell everyone you know. Um, and uh, yeah, this is just absolutely incredible. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to leave the uh, chat up a little bit if you guys want to say hello and goodbye. But thank you, Amelia, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, we love you. <laughs> um, and uh, Rogbot, thank you for helping us. Thanks again to oh, Singular yeah. Live course, and the guys. graphics that we've been using up on the screen. And uh, we will see you guys, if not tomorrow morning on the voice chat, we will see you next Sunday, same time, same place. Let's do it all together, shall we? We're doing the This Is Our Twitch sign-off, yeah. shall we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My name is Connor. My name is Tracy. My name is Rockbot. And, and this, this is, is our, our Twitch. Twitch. Right on. Over and out. Good night, guys. Thank you so much.